Stop being so sensitive, bitch! <laughs>
She found the most mobile, obese motherfuckers in L.A. <laughs> All of the, the des descendants of Rerun from what's happening. <laughs> she found them and put them together and had a fat people dance. <laughs> I ain't even seen it. You, I didn't, I didn't you had, see the whole thing either. I just saw certain tidbits that I, I wanted I to see. see. She I had see. all big people dancing so she don't look as bad as she looked when she up there singing with skinny people. It was brilliant. I give you all the credit in the world. You, yeah, that was that was different. That was different. That was the, uh, the big mobile. <laughs> started the show with the big mobiles. The big so people. She, she started the show. Oh, bunch she performed, of, right? oh my God! Yeah, she performed. The girl can sing. Oh no, yeah. Ain't nobody saying oh, that. Yes. Blizzo can't sing. <laughs> but if you force the big agenda, it's gonna do the same thing that's happening with the fruit booty agenda. Because after Lizzo's song, on everything I love, they had a big old. Bag of sugar, man, twerking in booty shorts from the back oh, on TV. I forget his name. What is Saucy? Whatever his name is. With the green. The Santana dude? Yeah. Oh. Whatever his name is. Are you serious? Black people, look, they took the game. They took hip hop and, and R&B and the soul culture, and they turned it into a circus. Oh, man. I'm not saying Lizzo can't sing. I'm saying I'm if Lizzo was to do what she supposed to do, she supposed to be real still, like Aretha Franklin, <laughs> and just do this while she's singing and let us concentrate on your voice. Not seeing y'all prance around. So you're saying that big people, if they, if they wanna, if they, I'm saying what I said. Now, what you, you saying? You just said, yeah, you gave it to her that she she's a good singer. True. But what you're basically saying is because if somebody's big or looks a certain way, they shouldn't be out there doing that's that. That's what I mean, you that's a, said. No, See, I'm a pro, no, D. No, people no. who like to switch your words around. But I'm that's saying, why I'm asking. I'm asking you to clarify it because I'm trying to get to where you're going with this. Like, are you? Just well, can we rewind the tape and say what I said? Because I said what I said. Okay. I said what I said, and I meant it. All them girls ain't big on him. What? All the girls. Ain't are big. you watching the BET Awards that yeah, I this saw? Yeah, look at that. Hold on, Which two, one ain't big? About two, three of them ain't big on him. What? Hold on, it's a variation. Look, that one that thick. That one that thick right there. That's thick to you. You see, you see. How you telling me? I saw it. She had all girls who won't make her look bad on there. So when she was moving around, she don't look like everybody be like, oh, damn, that's fucked up. That's what she did. I've seen Erica Badu videos where she had girls that don't look a certain way on there. So she stands out. I've seen this. This ain't no diss to Erica Badu, but I'm just saying. I know what they doing. See, that girl, they, 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 she looks, she's skinny. Okay, Marcus, she, she good to you. <laughs> I'm talking about niggas who go for Bombay bitches. We like to see Bombay bitches dance. When we see big girls dance and shit, we just wait on them to get tired. <laughs> then they edit it. Like if a big girl asked me to dance, I'll dance with her. She gonna be sleepy when we through. They skinny in Arkansas. They skinny in Arkansas. That's skinny. Fuck y'all. Skinny in Arkansas. <laughs> <That's skinny. laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, look. I can't watch a man dance in booty shorts. I I I, I didn't cut it off in the green room. Yeah, I missed all that. I'm gonna have to pull But I can't out. watch no man in no booty shorts act like he talking to me. <laughs> if it's a man with some boots and booty shorts on, um, I ain't gonna even lie. I, now I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I don't care. I'm I'm, I'm gonna tell you when we was coming up. If we'd have saw a man like that, we'd have been like, get him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Everybody be like, get him. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Now, the children watch the brothers with the tr blonde, trinkly hair 
and the lipstick and makeup on and the booty short and backwards. This is what the kids have now. The black family is gone. It's gone. Your kids might say, well, daddy, what's wrong with a man wearing booty short? The people it. in charge of the programming at BET have done a great job at destructing the black family. The black family now is led by the woman. I'm not saying BET did all that, it's but they play. White people. Who runs it? I'm sorry. White Caucasian no, no, people who, run everything that has to do with TV. Yeah. The production of BET Awards and all that. I mean, they didn't hire, yeah, yeah. like, usually don't they Look up who owns BET. Wait, wait, no, I'm saying, you, I already got that. I'm saying who runs their production. Like, okay, the BET Awards are coming up. We give it to Bloom. Usually it's like, don't they give it to, like, a, a team of a producer or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I cut on the BET Awards. The women were dressed like men. The woman came out there, had on suits like men. And the men had on booty shorts. You talking about like Janelle Monet or somebody had that? Hey, I'm just saying. I ain't name dropping. When I cut it on, the women had on the suits and the men had on the booty shorts. And dresses. Oh, my God. What is my man name? What is the dude name? Um, Billy Porter. Oh, I drop his name. I love Billy. Hi, Billy. Oh, <laughs> I love man. I don't even want to know what that man You had. see, if it's just one of them. If it's just one man in a dress and everything, then everybody looks at the man in the dress and be like, oh, okay. The weirdo. But when all of the men <laughs> represent it, nah, for the most part, we're on the shit pushed in side of the game. <laughs> inside of the game. <laughs> that is the new agenda, the shit pushed in agenda. That's what they want for us. The strong brothers don't get represented. Look, look at the look at the goddamn awards. You tell me what strong black man that you'll be like. That's a great example of a leader. Did you see on that stage? Baby face looks very nice in that suit. <laughs> the shit pushed in awards. <laughs> Shit pushed in awards. <laughs> Name another one. This is the shit pushed in awards. I ain't watching. So Congratulations, Buffy. So I liked that whole shit, shit pushed, pushed in ah! awards. Uh, that man does have a lot of they, material. And he changed them F to it. S. They what? <laughs> I'm I'm puff, love, in uh, Puffin' name, and he changed them F to S. Y'all motherfuckers want to act like I'm bogus? You can act like I'm bogus. It's the shit pushed in awards. <laughs> The shit pushed in awards. <laughs> shit pushed in after parties. Shit pushed in agenda. They've won. They beat us. Now, there's not an outrage that men that represent the black community are all feminine acting men. There's no outrage. They won. They won. They beat us. We got to try. Men like me, who know right from wrong, we have to try to say something about it to remind the people that's not how we should be represented on television at the Black Entertainment Television Awards. We are represented the way we are meant to be represented by the wicked Caucasians who run the program in there. Because if they had respect for us, there's no way they would have us looking like that. The men look like bitches, and the bitches look like men. I'm pretty sure the MTV Awards don't got that shit. Oh, yes, they do. MTV didn't even let niggas be on, on TV for a long time. While you, while you was a baby, yeah. they wouldn't even let Michael Jackson on MTV at one time, dog. That is true. Mm -hmm. MTV was the most racist, was, is the most racist at once, they did not fuck with niggas on MTV. They let niggas do shit now. But back in the day, they didn't even give a fuck about the money. They didn't give a fuck. It was not for black entertainers. Well, no, nah, what I'm saying is ain't, white people ain't doing it on MTV, is it? What do you mean? Doing all this shit they doing. 
what, like dressing and performing and stuff like that? On some, yes, on some, so is so is your, you tell me it's white males what, on there what, that, that are doing? What that little Nas X performing? Well, he was making out with that man. Male. I'm talking about is there white men doing the same thing on MTV? Oh, what do you mean? That. Like, so am I doing all this, all this shit? Booty shaking and yeah, slithering all this, and all stuff like that, kissing men on this. Mm. Is they doing that on MTV? Mm. Is white men doing that on MTV? What do you think all this came from? <laughs> do you think you could go to Jamaica <laughs> and shake your ass in some booty shorts and walk home and be safe? <laughs> there are places in this world where niggas be like, ah, all right, all right. All right. I don't think they you feel the danger in the room <laughs> when you walking around motherfucking men dressed like a bitch. All right. <laughs> this ain't the shit pushed in awards everywhere, but in America, who has major influence over a lot of things that happen in the world. But I'm saying, they don't, they don't do that on MTV, though. Not, they don't, the, white, the white men don't be doing that on MTV? I don't watch MTV really that much. Yeah. Why Even when I was on Wildin' Out, I didn't really watch yeah. MTV. Uh, actually, you know what, if you think about it, it there are s certain things. Like, I remember I was at the particular MTV Awards when um, Howard Stern came in with his ass out and was farting over the entire audience and he was flying upside down. So there's been some crazy stuff. Like, he had his bare ass out. <sighs> and then... <laughs> like, Marcus is younger than us. Yeah. Wait a minute, BET showed Kevin Samuels some love. 304s was mad. Something. What was the 304s? Okay, so I found a person. It's they have they have a fellow named Jesse Collins, and it's his entertainment company, and he's a, you know who that is? He has an entertainment company. See, because I already know that that they give it to somebody like here, here, here here's your team, here's your team. Yeah, he does you a lot of what feel? But I'm afraid to show Corey his picture. <laughs> I already know what he looked like if they gave him something. They have an agenda of who they give things oh, to. Oh, you're right. He's done, he's produced American Music Awards. He does, oh, wow. He's done a lot of I'm not yeah. saying everybody who does that is with negative intention sure, he's toward the people, but as they have poured poison into the pool every year, the pool is basically mostly poison now. Uh. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I, I'm not stupid, man. If, if I'm going to make it in this business, I'm going to have to deal with men who want to fuck men. That's just part of the game. If you want to make major moves in television, film, and things like that, you are going to have to be in the company of men that want to fuck you. Oh, shit. <laughs> not you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you want to be on TV, Mark? Oh, we can make that happen. No, but you can't. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be on TV, don't you? But don't things, don't you? How bad you want it, boy? Huh? <laughs> don't, you, don't you believe that things I mean, go like how, the, that people I just I can get, make it without that shit. Well, you think you can make it? Yeah, yeah, I can make it without that shit. How? Man, man, listen, man. You social short media, and bald. Social media. The Jeffersons. Is, might come back out. Oh my God! <laughs> you could you could be a good Cobra Kai instructor, nigga. The way you dress, right Cobra now. Kai instructor. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say Black Hawk Hogan. Fuck y'all. I mean, stuff can only <laughs> stuff you can know, only brother. like stuff can only go so far. There's like certain things where it's just like again, people will have their fun. I think with certain things, and they just go, oh God, oh God. Even the people that are, oh, that's got, oh, it's too much. Like it's going too far. And well, then they're I gonna think push stuff the kind of backs up. Yeah, and then it just goes, okay, now what? Because what else, what else can you do? Are well, they going to start? I want, what you can do is if you have a vehicle like I have, you can speak on it. Because speaking on it means something. Because most of these guys on the internet, they scared to speak on it. I see all these busted motherfuckers breaking down my show. And you know what they do? Huh. Even when I curse, they take the cursing away from me. Talking about the censor your shit? No, I'm saying yeah. like, they want a clean, edited version of them watching my show. So like, motherfucker bitch shit, oh. if they was recording this, <laughs> they'd take that part out. What a bitch you are. <laughs> you taking me away from me <laughs> for the dollar, but think you better. Like you don't curse. Oh, I don't curse on YouTube because <laughs> if you curse on YouTube, you can't make no money. You a bitch. <laughs> How the fuck you stealing my clips and taking the cursing away from me? Like I'm like you. 
What a fucking joke you bust the motherfuckers out. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all lives ain't shit. And that's y'all true. scared to be who you are. And that's true, by the way. But then act like something wrong I mean, with me. I mean, that's yeah. not true, by the way. Because I cuss all the goddamn time. They monetize my videos. So, nigga, that's, that's false. Nigga, who people keep saying that shit. Yeah, what but and I be talking about do? some crazy shit, huh? What do they do to your videos? They don't, they don't, uh... Not yet, Marcus. They don't, not they don't yet. demonetize my videos. Not yet. Huh? What do you mean, not yet? Not yet. Give some time. No, I, they, I request reviews. I have to request reviews. And they they review it, and then so they monetize my shit. why do you think they don't monetize your shit? No, they do monetize I mean, shit. why do you think they monetize it? I don't know, because I be cussing like a motherfucker. You know I be cussing? That's the point I was trying to make. Maybe they're not, thre- I, I'm maybe not, they're not here threatened by you. See, to make saying. sponsors happy. I haven't got to that point yet. Maybe one day it'll be a point where I might be like, well, let me watch in my mouth and so eyes don't get cut off. So maybe, it get, maybe it might get to that point if I'm, but I'm on the motherfucking internet. Motherfucker, ain't nobody financing me but the people. The people motherfucking look out for me and help me pay these motherfuckers to do this goddamn show. Mother fuck not cussing. I don't give a fuck about your commercials anyway. I don't want my people to have to watch your garbage ass commercials to watch my show. So all you little fuck boys sitting at a desk running through my clips, taking out the cursing out my motherfucking mouth, use a bitch ass nigga for that. <laughs> you, 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 boy. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all some cake ass niggas in this world. Y'all want to be accepted so bad and you're never going to get accepted anyway. Your son is going to tell you, what's the what's little booty short nigga name? The saucy nigga. Uh, saucy. saucy. Daddy, I want a saucy baby dog. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> A with saucy the, dog. With the fuzzy boots. Because you ain't got the guts to tell your son, that's a fuck nigga right there, boy. <laughs> you don't need to act nothing like that, motherfucker. And if you do, I'm going to disown you. That's how the real daddies used to speak. Boy, don't come in my house with that shit. You take that shit out, that's from your mama's side of the family. And see, that is his opinion. Nowadays, you just cannot even express yourself. You can't, and people just get, they get so, it's like, okay, you can't just go like how parents used to in the days tell, teach you, like, don't, don't care what he says, go on, do you. And, you know, but people can't nowadays. they super sensitive, and they, oh, you see what he's talking about? That's the man's opinion. I'm not sensitive. I'm speaking oh, from the, <laughs> the point of, well, of, of goddamn human values. When your son got on booty shorts, and high boots and glittery hair dancing on TV like that, your son is part of the game. If you don't think that's a fact, what the fuck could I tell you? Hmm. If my son, let my son God. has underachieved in some things, but I am so proud that he fucked bitches. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Hey, boy, I'm proud of you, boy. <laughs> Keep fucking them hoes. <laughs> Until you, you get wiser. You're going to get wiser. That's what God put them funky bitches here to show you how you fucking up. You're going to get wiser. Keep fucking them hoes until you figure out who your enemy is. <laughs> that go to all the little boys out there. Keep fucking these hoes until you realize these bitches don't fuck with me for real. That's what hoes are put out here for, to show you who you really are. Mm. I didn't tell me that that uh I, I need to uh censor my show if I want I didn't stop cussing and shit if I want to uh get, like it get sponsors your show, yeah, yeah. You, 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 I mean, you clean it up you, I ain't gonna tell you who told me because I tell you no I mean. you whoever told you <laughs> let me tell you something my you good brother here. my good brother Country Wayne yeah don't use profanity yeah but I'm not talking about just on his show. I never see Country Wayne going around say, fuck shit, bitch, whatever. Right, right, right. It's a lot more respectable when Country Wayne do a show and don't curse. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about all these fuck stool pigeon ass niggas who don't curse because they want a YouTube thing. Oh. Man, y'all motherfuckers, you dis- I despise you bust ass niggas. Y'all niggas make my ass itch. Oh, <laughs> 
They cuss on stage though. The one saying the one who told me that. They, I know, man. Like, it's like, like, man, you be the motherfucker you gonna be. Be yeah. the motherfucker right, you gonna right. be, Marcus. If somebody gives you some advice that worked for you and you glad you did it, that's one thing. Mm-hmm. But just like the motherfuckers who was like, oh man, you Corey Stool Pigeon. Them motherfuckers are jealous, dog. Wow. You ain't never told me who said it. I always try don't to forget it. Do but it. I know it's a don't whole ass nigga that smiled with me. <laughs> I know it's a whole ass nigga that smiled with me that told you. Oh, you Corey's um. What is that? I forgot. Side what the, kick. You Corey sidekick. Oh, I thought I was. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole ass nigga to smile with me without you saying something. Because it take a whole ass nigga to say some shit like, like that. Like that. Yeah, what was that? That's, That's a not, jealous motherfucker. That's not cool. I ain't going to tell you who it is. That's not I know. Cool. Yeah, you be protecting you them whole ass niggas. Oh, One man. day you going to tell me, though. One day them niggas going to cross you enough and you going to be like, <laughs> I should have been told my guy what the fuck this whole ass nigga be <laughs> saying me, Marcus, when he ain't me. around. You tell me. I won't tell him. Whole ass me. motherfucking niggas, man. All these bust ass <laughs> niggas with envy. Man, I had a bust ass comic who the last thing he was on was Star Search. When did Star Search come out? Oh, Whoa, shit. Whoa, stop. That was the last thing I saw him do. 80. He said, my show is the Jerry Springer show, this bust-ass nigga. This nigga said, I was going to put you in my movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this whole-ass nigga ain't got no movie. You lied to try to make me look bad. <laughs> Where your movie, nigga? Ain't nobody finna give you no movie budget, you marginal talent-ass nigga. All these niggas. I got the receipts right here with the nigga calling me, begging to be on the show. But my show, The Jerry Springer Show. I got the shit right here in the phone. Because I don't talk to the nigga that much. All I got to do is punch his name up. It ain't no long text of me and him going back and forth. It's just text, text of him, Corey, I want to be on your show. Uh. But then when some shit go down, oh, fuck you, Corey, it's The Jerry Springer Show. Dog, man, <laughs> fuck all oh, you motherfuckers, nigga. Watch me and I know it makes, I know it just hurts seeing me motherfucking talk this shit every week. And motherfuckers watch it. And I'm not even talking about the motherfuckers y'all talking about. This week I confirmed powerful people watch my show, send the clips to their friends so they can laugh. Yeah. I'm talking about powerful motherfuckers. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was a powerful Excuse me. me. Whatever is confident men, that's where I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable around the titans. I'm not comfortable around the insecure motherfuckers. Speaking of, speaking of shit like that, I want to bring up J-Lo. Because <laughs> I want to talk about this Latina shit. Now, I love my Latina brothers that I have met. I have met some down, down motherfuckers. I got a homeboy who work at the airport. Man, this motherfucker so solid. Mexican brother. Mm-hmm. Man. Conduct himself like a man. So it ain't no whole group of people. But I got to speak on a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> Starting with J-Lo Funky A. I like old J-Lo. What do? <laughs> I'm sure you like J-Lo. Like I'm J-Lo. sure you like J-Lo. <laughs> she look like the type of woman you want to fuck. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, Funky bitch, though. Oh, yeah. Funky bitch who went on this show and it was they were they were giving black women money. Okay. And J Lo whole thing was about giving the Latino women money. I'm not saying Latino women who shouldn't get no money. money. I don't want to say the name wrong, but let's let me put it like this: they were funding some black women. Okay. J Lo whole thing was about. It's a good investment to fund the Latino women. She didn't say it was a good investment to fund the black women, but D, what did you see at the end of that, D? It's, it's actually a cut, a, snip, a snippet from her documentary that she has in her documentary. And it was a, what do they call it? I just looked it up when you said it. It's a, g- 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 hold on, I don't want to say it wrong either. Well, I know. I don't want you to say it wrong. I know. That's when when you told me about. It, I was like, "What?" I didn't See, hear, I give credit I to didn't the hear, people. Oh, Goldman Sachs, and that's they they donate a lot of money because it's a bank, financial institute. They yeah, really they have so much money that it's like they give yeah. out loans to things like this, like for people to do you know certain programs. Mm-hmm. And it was called. It was a partnership for Goldman Sachs it's called Ten Thousand Small Business Program. It was an initiative designed to support. 
um, black and Latino entrepreneurs. And I guess they had, because I didn't see it, so I haven't seen it. And then everybody was like, well, I haven't seen, heard about that. Like I called my aunt and I was like, what's she do now? And she was, nobody had heard about any drama from it because it didn't hit like that. I guess, I don't know where you saw the information. And so then it I- was, I didn't, it, ain't where I, it was on the shit. On what shit? Where she was big up in Latino women. It said- But she did not big up black women. Let me give you an example of how this game go. The Golden State Warriors won a championship, right? And, and, and they said, big up to the Mexican player. Uh, the, the tennis girl who was number one at time, mm -hmm. one, number one at one time, they was like, big up to the Asian girl. Mm -hmm. Nobody, because I saw that boy who played for Golden State. That's a nigga. <laughs> That's where he got his running and jumping from, the black side mm -hmm. of his motherfucking family. That's why he was in the NBA Finals, because somebody got fucked on the black person side of the game. <laughs> And this is the point I'm trying to make about these motherfuckers. Just like with the, what is it, Osaka, is that her name? Yeah. yeah. They tried to say that she was an Asian girl. <laughs> they didn't talk about the black dick <laughs> that created her! <laughs> <laughs> well, they were probably so excited to actually go, oh my God, we got somebody in there. It's called caking for a motherfucker no, with I'm, right there. No, I get All the real motherfuckers. I do though. get it where some people will get so damn excited that they just go, oh my God, we got somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're in there. Oh, it's like, okay, it's only a little bit. When they established it's a long like, time hell. ago, once you got some black in, your yeah, ass black. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is this. D, you said, you said J-Lo, it she was for, what? that's what it was for. It was for initiative coincides with National Small Business Week and National Hispanic Heritage Month. Right. It was the, they were talking about black Latinos, which they call like Dominican Republic, like Dominican people. I, I saw dark. her big up in Latino women. I did not see her big up in black women. And it's a point I want to make today. Sure. Here's the Believe point. Believe me, I'm not oh, go putting, go, I'm sorry. Believe me, I'm not like putting up for her per se. Because I don't know exactly the whole story. I have to, I'd have to check it out when you called me at the last minute. However, also, I, I don't have, I have like, I wouldn't say beef, but she actually did me wrong. Who? <laughs> J-Lo. Well, yeah, my, I don't my want 96? to. 96? What? Well, back in the day? No, a couple years ago. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to speak on it because there's a mutual friend that's in between both of this like this. But anyway, I was very disappointed because I, look, I, I didn't like look up to her, but I, I liked her. I was like, oh my God, I'm so proud. There's a Latino, you know what I'm saying? She's Puerto Rican, but I was like, oh my God, our girl's doing something. Look how big she's getting. And then I had this incident happen a couple years ago and I was like, ugh. Anyway. All right, so let me so put anyway, the whole so out she, there like I meant to do. Yeah, go for it. What up, J-Lo, if you see this, I want to tell you something. I didn't see you big up in black women. And you don't have to, but one thing you should big up hmm. is black dick, bitch. You came up <laughs> off black dick. You was a dancer on in living color. I know how the game go. You was fucking somebody. Oh. oh and wow. nigga in the entertainment been to know. Bitch, you still here. Uh. You fucking somebody. <laughs> What's understood ain't got to be said. Oh my lord. You fucking somebody, bitch. Didn't see that I know you didn't see it coming. Uh, yeah. See, you got to be a black person to see how you don't get your propers. Oh, my Lord. You have to be black to see it. They're not big up in us. J-Lo was big up in Latino women and said how it would be a good investment for them to do this with Latino women. I didn't see her say it's a good investment to do that with black women. J-Lo, your whole come up is of dark Dick insertions. <laughs> All you get is because of black dick, bitch. So it's about time uh. you pay some homage to black dick. Uh. What the fuck? Why do so many motherfuckers try to take away from what black dick has done in this society? White slave owners couldn't sleep at night because they Caucasian wife was getting rotted out in the barn every time they went to town for goods. Black dick deserves its proper credit in this society. 
J-Lo, it's about time you say if it wasn't for my brothers over there that live in color. Because see, what's the man the name? Wayans. The Wayans. What's the real funny Caucasian dude name who was on the show? Uh, Jim, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey always give credit to Keenan them. He pay homage. He know yeah. I popped because they took a chance on me. Right. Yeah. When you going to say that, J-Lo? When you going to say you pop because them Wayans boys took a chance on your jitty sitting on the black block ass? But see, that's the thing. They always want to benefit from us and then don't want to stand with us. That's why I'm talking about it. Because I watch when they be giving credit to certain people. I watch what happens. I'm like... They didn't, they didn't say where it came from. They just, like when you make it, oh, I, my Latino heritage. Bitch, your pussy got beat up by dark dick. Your career started by the dark dick you was fucking to let you dance on in living color. Well, one of the Wayans, please come on here and tell the true story oh, of how this bitch got any opportunity. I know y'all. Them Wayans some real ass niggas, to be honest. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Keenan don't give a fuck, nigga. Keenan, will you please come on to 5150 and tell us how this bitch got everything she got? <laughs> Who was fucking the hoe? Which one of y'all? Oh, my God. That is just, that's crazy. <laughs> what do you mean it's crazy? She got black dick power. No, he, I'm saying what well, she got. She got power day, from the black dick. Right. That's what got the, da- the talent good. I'm Maybe. saying, man, you got to give us ours, man. <laughs> Stop taking from us. James. When you get up here and you made it off sitting on black dick, you are supposed to say, thank God to the Wayans. You are supposed to say, even if, because you Latino, I can say you saying Latino first. Latino women and black women deserve grants and all this shit to help catch them up for what we've been held back on over the years. You didn't say that. You took up for only yours. And ain't nothing wrong with taking up for yours. But you must pay homage for the dick that did. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Jamie Foxx would probably tell you that ass. Look. Right. Jamie Foxx was oh. like, that joke Jamie Foxx said was funny as hell. Mother calling her J-Lo. They was like, that ain't how it went on set. We was like, hey, ho. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We already know she got a fetish for dick. Yeah. We already know she got. It's women out here with dick fetishes for real. They can't just fuck one person a year. They got to have that pussy beat down by multiple men. And I think J Lo fits that category oh, from what we see. She done been married a few times. So That's her hustle. Yeah. And she a married brother. My soul. Too. Just about, look at this. So, no, look, but she I'm gotta again, defend her. No, I don't. As a matter of fact, I just told you we had like I don't know what her problem is with me, but you, no. You but I'm, I'm so proud of her. You need to have a talk with her. You need to walk up to J-Lo and say, bitch, we came up off black dick. (laughs) (laughs) I gave my dues. I I paid my dues. But no, I don't know what it is. But I'm just saying, I'm still, I'm still, you know, proud of her. I'm still proud of the girl, but shit. I don't know what that problem, that was weird. I I just had to say that. I watch when people talk. Nobody knows what it's like to be Black, but black people. I watch how go. people dodge giving us hours. Mm. All the time. All the time, man. <laughs> so, Jesus. I have been trying my best not to go into this shit, but I gotta, I gotta talk about this, too. Mm. Why do you think abortions are being banned in all these hillbilly-ass states? That's the question motherfuckers need to talk about. Well, usually in something this huge, it's, it's always follow the money. And the majority of all this, how it started was like politicians and their followers are claiming, oh, well, we're these Christian folks that don't believe in that. And then it got the ball going. Because all those guys, are you really serious that all those people that are pushing that agenda, that they really are totally against it and they don't do it. Come on, they're the, sometimes those are the worst people. That's like these guys that talk about, you know, those Republicans that are like, oh, we're against um, 
you know, they're kind of homophobic or they're, against, Mitchell, or they're against gays and stuff like that. And they'll be the worst ones. They'll be the first ones in those airport stalls doing that little touch to foot thing over. I mean, it noise. happens like you that. Where they'll go into like, a, you know what I'm saying? A topic, and they'll you be the it. worst people about it. So I think there, these people are, are, they're just like seeking votes. The power, if you think about it at the end of the day, it's a power move. Well, There's two different ways. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. You can go ahead. You can hit There's it. two different ways you can look at it. Um, because people don't like to believe white women get abortion. But they they're the highest abortion. ones, They're right. the highest ones getting abortion. So if, and you know their, their race is declining. So if you could stop them from getting abortions, then Aristotle, you can save right. your race. Thanks. You can preserve your race. Right. That's yeah, one that way you can look at up. it. Yeah, that was. Another way you look at it is they running out of workers. They, like right now, People ain't really working like that. You know what I'm saying? More people are having a more entrepreneurial mindset. And they understand that people that come from poor communities most of the time are where they get their work workers from. So if, if, if you don't have to, uh, if, you, if, if pe women are getting pregnant and, and they're not uh, Kevin financially. Fox, you're right, Kevin Fox. So you're well, saying they're killing off future employees, <laughs> future people that are going to work How are they killing jobs? them off if they stop the abortion? But, so where, where are you going? Go ahead, finish. So mm -hmm. if, they're, if they're forcing them to still have children, and they're forcing them into a poverty lifestyle, then they, they get to get their workers. They're creating they're still, more workers, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're, still, they're, still, mm. they're, still keeping, they're following the money. If, if that's the case, said. they would allow the, all those immigrants that they're trying to keep from over and across, but they would allow them to come in. And, and have them do the job. Your homeboy came on the show, Ryan, and he talked about numbers. Okay. This is a case of numbers. Mm -hmm. See, the politicians and people in charge are aware of what's happening. Huh. The Caucasian people who run this nation are aware of what's happening. All the dirt that has been done by Caucasian people since they invaded this nation, all of the dirt they do to keep us from growing, it is them who are fading off mm -hmm. in big numbers. Right. Yeah. It's hard for them to explain it that way because their master plan will be exposed. But the truth is, Caucasian people are dwindling off. I'm talking about the pure blood white motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Because of black dick. I can't. Yeah. It's beige babies everywhere. I can't mm -hmm. out with this guy. I'm telling you, it's beige babies everywhere. Go to motherfucking, what was that state we went to? Besides Iowa. Minnesota, Iowa Minnesota got me Minnesota. babies like a mother. Utah, Utah go, has a lot of... Uh, go to Utah. Go everywhere you want to go in this nation. Pure. All you see is mixed couples. It's a problem. That's, but that's coming next, is what people say. The number one problem... Can't stop that. Besides them killing off their babies and not wanting them. Man, them hoes are fucking on drugs and they don't get respect for their white boyfriends or whatever either. You see a lot of dysfunction in black and Latino families on TV. But trust me when I tell you, you saw when old girl was in court and she snipped the cocaine in the motherfucking paper? Mm -hmm. That ain't no po bitch. That ain't no dirt broke bitch. I'm telling you, they are destroying themselves. They are destroying themselves in a rate where the people in charge say, we got to stop the abortions because we are fading away. Yeah. We, for them to put their foot down and say, look, bitch, you can't kill another white baby. Because <laughs> that's what it's really about, yeah. preserving the Caucasian race. You can't kill another one, bitch. God damn. That's why in connection with that, people are, are connecting the whole 
um, mixed marriage topic too. That's why, what's his name? What was the, the actor's name? Uh, your boy, Samuel. Was it Samuel Jackson? Yeah. Samuel Jackson he's the married first to a black woman. No, I know. I was going to say. I'm just putting that out there. He's the first one, though, to put, put that like a meme or something out there. Or he, he expressed himself. He said it about Clarence Thomas because he was like, you know, that's the next thing they're going to do. If you want to go back and overturn reverse, something, reverse, yes, yeah. they can over, re, overturn the, uh, the um, versus Wade the, um, Ill, uh, mixed marriages to be illegal again, and that would include Clarence Thomas because he's married to a white woman. Well, they're going to figure something out because these niggas fucking these white hoes <laughs> all over the nation. Uh. Where did I just come from? It's a country ass town. Omaha! In Omaha? Man, when I was in Omaha, dog, all them hoes had black guys. Oh, I heard that. I heard that. It's heavy. Oh, oh them white right hoes. Right <laughs> I ain't, I ain't helping oh, y'all. Right. I ain't helping y'all. What'd you say you want to do? I, I said, said you I don't want to go to I'm not helping y'all niggas build a uh, race back. He said he Marcus said white. he don't I want a my, white woman. Yeah, I, I believe him. That pure but black. hold on. You a fucking white bitch? Yeah, he said that before. but he. I ain't say I wouldn't do that. I See? knew you a fucking white bitch. That, no. I don't give a fuck what race you are. They got bad bitches in every race. Everyone. I seen a cold Samoan bitch. Head big than a motherfucker, but this was a bad bitch. I'm wearing a condom with a white woman, absolutely. You wearing a condom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing a condom with a white woman, absolutely. No, there ain't no question about that. That's a young mind thinking right there. I ain't even mad. Right <laughs> so, wait, you That's wait. a young mind. Now somebody say ain't no white women. So what hey, you... hey, go scroll down a little bit. Let me see what they say about Slow white down. women and a, and a white. Ain't no white women. Wait a minute, white women ain't going for interracial ban. Oh, that's what they said. Oh. See, a white woman will fuck a black man. I'm not saying all white women will hold up a black man. In fact, most of them won't. Mm -hmm. And what happens with most white women who are with black guys, they be with them. Love is real. But later in life, mm -hmm. it's easier to go back to the white side unless you got the money to hide behind. Mm-hmm. That they could. When, 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 them white women who love them some black um, Leroy or whoever, mm -hmm. when, the, when it get hard, they go home to mama them. Mm -hmm. And they uncle them. Or wherever it's easier. Because they had that option. <laughs> it's like yeah. bitches with struggle. They go to struggle dick. And no, they, 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 they are they interested. That's what the best dick. They are interested in what they told they can't have. Yeah. In every race. I'm Samoan. But they couldn't stop us from, they couldn't stop us at the, this is my thing, they couldn't stop us at the plantation. They couldn't stop them from jumping on us at the plantation. What made you think that you done open the world up? You think we have been, oh, come no. on now. <laughs> come on, man, they I, I, I know what you're saying. So, 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 so can I say this? That means the person who is in charge of giving you this alleged shot that's supposed to save you, those are the biggest haters the world has ever seen. They used to be mad when the slaves, AKA black men that was kidnapped and brought over here to work for free to build this nation, they used to be mad when they used to fuck, they, some motherfucker wouldn't even go get supplies in town. Cause he know when he went and got supplies in town, and that pussy was getting supplemented down. <laughs> All kinds of supplements was going in that bitch. <laughs> she was getting supplies, dick. Right. <laughs> Motherfucker, we have gotten past that. It's like it's taboo to say it. To say what? What I'm saying. You don't see a lot of people talking about it. Who has the courage to talk about What's happening? When I see this abortion shit, boy, these bitches got to catch flights to kill babies. Bitch on a buddy pass to murder her future. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I think it's ironic. It shows you how wicked a funky bitch is if she'll catch a flight to LA to murk her baby. That's part of vacation. <laughs> no, they'll get guys that want to get like you when you used to do that or you talk about it in your, your work. Drive them to here. Save some money. I didn't have a car. My bitches had to kill it on their own. That's, that's, it's, it's, um. Even if I had a car and I drove the bitch, the baby dead because the bitch killed it. <laughs> I can't kill no baby if it ain't in me. 
you Mary have, abortion you is a bitch's fault. You had created. But there's a uh, there are companies it. right now. All on CNN is funky bitches talking about, well, my child was in my tubes and that's why I had one. You funky bitch! You killed your baby because you didn't want it. You didn't want it. You didn't want the baby. Stop making excuses on why your abortion was an exception. You a baby killer, bitch. Most women are. Most women have killed at least one of their baby. They get mad at the fish in the tank. Oh, the fish ain't their own baby. Bitch, you killed your baby. Uh. <laughs> you guppy, bitch. <laughs> You know, this, this mm. company is paying for them now. The, mm. They're paying for the travel and everything. It's a list of companies. If you work for these particular companies, they'll pay for you to go get your abortion. They'll pay for the travel and they'll pay for the abortion. What company? You have to I get think the Bank list. of America was one of them. You have to get the list. They'll put you on the back of the plane. <laughs> By the time you get your peanuts an ounce a cup of water, you dead. The baby dead anyway from my... Not, not drinking. You bitches are really on, you on the spot now. You are on the spot. You don't have control over your pussy to only fuck with men that you have had a baby and be proud of. You don't have that type of control. Do you see it's coming back around on you? All the excuses you made about men ain't shit. They done took your abortion right, bitch. So now you got to show the killer you really are. You, you can't act like you innocent no more. To kill your baby is going to take real effort now. <laughs> you want to hear some of the comments? Hell yeah. Microsoft, Apple, Meta, Yelp, Disney, Uber, Netflix, Bumble, Match Group, Box.com, Levi, Comcast, Warner Brothers, <laughs> JP Morgan Chase. Nike, Starbucks, Dick Sporting Goods, Kroger. And all these people Alaska, will do what, Marcus? They are willing to pay for your travel and your abortion if you can't get it. Boy, you motherfucking hoes in That's, trouble, boy. But look at the companies, them, them major companies. Y'all done went out here your whole life, act like it's your daddy fault. They taking your options away. You're going to have to face that mirror. When you murk your baby now, you're not going to be able to say, we'll live, we'll live, we'll live. What? Your efforts to murder your child will be documented by Nike. Uber, <laughs> all them companies, he said, Microsoft. <laughs> we funded you killing your child, bitch. <laughs> You thought it was a come up, didn't you? Oh, man. They gonna have it on record that you killed your baby. You'll be facing charges 10 years later. You ain't got no vaginal control. You ain't got, you ain't got oh, no vaginal control. This one. Come on. Ain't that why you got that baby that you really don't like? Ain't that why you got it? You ain't got no vaginal control. Y'all got to go back to the little hangers with the wire. Every time I see a woman with one child, I say that's the one you kept. Oh, my God. That's the one you was proudest of. They're going to start doing commercials. All my shit finna come to truth. See, let me tell you something about this brother, Kevin Samuels. I may not have agreed with his um, urgency to sneak away with a dude feeling... I can't prove he did that. Yeah. But I want to give okay. Kevin Samuels a lot of credit because he even got bitches talking about bitches on the internet now. All this shit finna reverse. All you hoes that blame the world for everything you are, you're not going to be able to blame the world. You are able to abort your baby because you were supplied with a machine that will abort your child. Don't act like it was your choice. You <laughs> did it because they made something for you. We'll kill the baby. You ain't got you ain't got to feel bad with your hang in your hand. <laughs> we'll do it. Oh, they gonna have commercials called abortions by Nike. <laughs> it's gonna be on the price. Just, just do it. The price is right. 
the showcase showdown. <laughs> you won an all expense paid trip to kill your baby. <laughs> Guy joking about it now. You'll stay in the luxurious <laughs> Motel 6 while we set it up for your baby to get yanked out of your womb, and within a week, you'll be and forgot all about the little bastard. You guys are joking about all it. All is yours you're if the price about it is now, right. But you're going to be involved. You're going to be involved in something at some point because it, it'll it's going to affect y'all. Too. The BW has the highest rate of wound chop shops. Mm. Research only takes seconds. Well, he, when he see BW, he mean black Baltimore. women. Black oh, women. The black woman has <laughs> the highest <laughs> number of wound <laughs> <of women, laughs> chop shops. This is uh, I don't want to say the name wrong. Weeds motivation. We, we, we wise. Wise motivation. However. Why is? Or? I'm saying, like it's been so easy for you to act like. The man did you wrong. Even D coming up with more. Well, it's going to hurt the man, too. I didn't this say it. is the example I'm trying to talk about. Sure didn't say it like that, but. What okay. did you say, D? Mark my words. I'm just saying it. it's it's inevitable that it is going to affect y'all as well. Because you're going to knock somebody up or have something happen and you're going to go, oh, oh, man, no, I got to deal with this. Matter of fact, it's actually going to give you a whole new um, material. Bitches going to be getting murked all over the nation. <laughs> Unless Nike pay for the trip. <laughs> Niggas going to be writing in the Nike. <laughs> bitch, I done bought 50 pair of Jordans. You better get rid of this baby out of this bitch for me. Matter of time. <laughs> you come up with whatever scenario time. make you feel better about things, D. Here's the it truth. That's what it is. Here's the truth. The number one killer in this nation is abortion. The black community is not being slaughtered mm. by the gangbangers. The gangbangers do awful things. The black community is not being slaughtered as much by the police. The black community is being slaughtered by Planned Parenthood them. <laughs> and now, because the Caucasians are worried about their numbers, <laughs> They say, you hoes got to keep it now. That's why you're out there marching. You want the easy way out. You want to use his machine to yank life out of you while you still live. That's some selfish shit right there. A little baby who ain't got a chance. Now, have I been part of abortions? Sure. I done drove bitches to the clinic. Right. You already talk about it. But I ain't never killed my baby. Oh, please. (laughs) So you're saying all it those ain't in you, me to kill my baby. All was you saying that you partook took in that they weren't you didn't knock them up. D, that's that's up? a mind game to make you feel better about what you did. No man made you have an abortion. You killed your baby because you didn't want it. I didn't say that a man made me do it. it so but, how is a man? But if abortion doesn't exist, if it's not allowed, if it's illegal, it, it, first of all, if it's legal. Doesn't mean that people are going to actually go have them. It's it's just there. it does mean people are going to have them. Not necessarily. They're, they're, they're having so many house. abortions. White men was like, we got to stop this shit. Ain't no more little white babies out here. It's beige babies you make, everywhere. You make stuff illegal. It doesn't make you want to do it. What do you mean? Are, in other words, yeah. If you take away look weed when they made that legal, didn't make people go out and start smoking it because now it's weed. available. No, I know. But just having it available. Weed is done when you want to smoke. Having a baby is a real responsibility exactly. that people can't duck. Right, so and, they you're not kill a, it. and you're not a woman, so you would never understand that at all. It's not your body. There's, you, would, you could never, you can't even grasp that if you, uh-oh, by accident, you're out there all nilly-willy. Did she say, uh-oh, by accident? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh you're, all, ah, you're all, you're you all. You got fucked by accident. No, you're all nilly-willy out there. I'm talking about you talk about it. You make, a, you make a living out of that, talking about these stories. So I'm just saying, I'm just hypothetically Dee, saying. stop trying to make excuses for being who you I'm are not, and who all listen, these women are. No, I'm Didn't not. no accident happen? Oh, please. Come Dick on, you, you speak about all the time. was inserted in you. You enjoyed it. But you, right, but you're not a woman. You could never And duck the your, responsibility by going to the slaughterhouse. You could never understand. It's okay. You could never understand the whole, this, how heavy duty this whole thing is. You'll never understand. It's fine. <laughs> why they call it you plan? could never. Why you're a man. Why they call it Planned Parenthood? 
They just called it planned murders. That's a joke. That's why I don't even like it. I was like, oh God, uh, this guy, just let him, you just let him run his mouth. I'm D like, has the same opinion oh. a lot of women who murdered their babies have. I just don't, look. Oh, uh, D, you done had a few of them? No. Like, I you, had one. You only had one, right, I D? I did. I, had, I spoke about it before. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, that's the hit dog. She sound like the women on CNN. Listen to him. I had one. Right, you're not and, a woman, so well, you never Well, the baby understand. was in my tubes, so I had to do it. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I did not make an excuse about it. I even said, I was like, no, I'm ashamed of it, but I did it. I yes. bet my life you had more than one. No, <laughs> honest to God, on God, on my life, on your mother's life. Oh shit, now you put my mama in it. Uh, she mad now. I always, she go mad there, now. I always go there with Corey when he Why you ain't put it, it on your mama's life? Oh, I don't give a shit about my mama, and plus she's already well, put dead. put it on her life. She's already dead, it won't work. You only From say abortions. that. From abortions. No, you only say, <laughs> what? Abortions. I'm just you saying. You only say that you when know somebody, abortions take your life when somebody doesn't away believe also. you, that's when I go there. Like, I'll be like, oh, dude, You mad, please. you mad, because I didn't believe you, so now you say, you bring up I'm my not, mama. I'm not mad. I'm just saying that's how hard I'll go just so I can show you that this is the truth. All you women in I this world this who are go, faced with the mad. truth now. He'll never Why did you do it, it D? He'll never get she it. didn't what want mean, it. I do it. What, like most people, what do you mean I didn't want? Yeah, it was awful time. I was young. How old me you? How old and the you? guy, 18. Oh, oh, cause it wasn't iced tea. What are you talking about? That, that's why you didn't have. It? I don't, I don't want to give all my information. I don't want to give all my information. But yeah, I was, oh. I was very young. <laughs> Most people do do that, unfortunately. Yes, I don't agree with using it as a contraceptive. Some people just out there nilly willy. They, they, they use it as because it exists. Oh, I'm gonna go that route. To get rid of it, that I don't agree with. I did own that. Did, I did it myself when I was younger. He he they should still make bitches buy caskets when they kill their oh, baby. Brother, <laughs> I don't, you taking the cheap funeral no, route, bitch? I don't bitch. even go there with him because you guys just will not get it. You're not a woman, so you can. How can you? How can you even? They got to. They got to. They got to. They got to do it themselves. You, they will, it you they will, will never understand. You will never understand. They gotta have the no, funeral car. You'll just never get it. They gotta it. put it in the cat. They should still, they should have whatever came out. It. They should have to put it in their hand like a <laughs> like when like when the fire department come and be like, the fire started with this thing right here. That's how they should do the little baby when it come out. Here's the problem right here, bitch. Not proud of it. Yeah, not proud of it, but I did. <laughs> yeah. I bet if they saw they little baby like you bitch, they wouldn't do it. It's easy to kill something you ain't never seen before. That's why abortions are so rampant. They ain't seen the baby. They ain't looked it in the eyes, so they can murk it. That Easy. Be, that and it's be, okay that, for a guy that to, would, how about Ray Carruth? Like when you used to say that, and that was so gross, when you were like, that he, you almost agreed on when he took that woman out and his baby. And she was already pregnant, fully, fully carrying the baby. Remember when, you brought, when we talked about that story? And you were actually saying, yeah, you know, because she was going to go ahead and have it and he didn't want it. Try to dehumanize me There you me go. Okay, you yes, yes. Bring up whatever you got to sure. bring up. Sure, I said it and I meant it. You sure He did. told the bitch, if you had a baby, it's going to fuck with my paper. So he cowardly hired a motherfucker wow. to do the dirt. She goes ahead and keeps the baby. See, damn, oh, he had a different abortion. You can't win either way. So she didn't abort he aborted the baby. The, now he, he aborted sudden, the bitch no. and the baby. So that's what Ray Carruth did. He aborted the bitch yeah. and the baby. She, he lived. The and baby now lived. Divorced. Oh, he aborted. He aborted he's the divorced. wrong. No, no he tried to kill it, but now he's the divorced. mother was dead for a, a little while so before he got, he got the baby damage. out. So the baby got brain damage. He so, so, so both. did he have to pay the hitman still? I wonder. Well, the hitman was telling on him. He in was jail. in the car behind him to make sure he must have given him his money. You remember that no, story? No, he hired an emotional killer. And he killer. was a coward, and he was hiding in a trunk when they found him. Yeah, he didn't do it himself. That would be interesting though if they if they told him, look, we after they get the abortion, uh, like, look, you got to get rid of this yourself. You know what I'm saying? They like gave, they do when somebody dies yeah. in the apartment. It's gonna get crazy. Get a baby in the bag or something. No, it's right. gonna get crazy. In California, bag, when baby. one of your loved ones die in the house. Uh -huh. They just come confirm the death and lead it. They lead the dead people there. And you got to have a funeral home come get them. In California, they should be like, we're not going to dispose of it. We'll yank it out, 
But then we throw it at you like a little softball when we get it up out you. Uh. They can put it, they put it in the bag, car. Right. Bad. Like, this what you didn't want, bitch? Blah. <laughs> 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 So <laughs> silly. Oh, God. Mm, they should try yeah. to make it why it's still alive before they throw it at him. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> they put a, uh, a yak back in the background for the, so they can play a voice. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> They should, they should leave a little bit in there so next time you go down on her, look right when they throw give it, you a little surprise. Right uh -huh. when they throw it, they should have yeah, a duck whistle. You, what? What? <laughs> look what you did. Uh, D hurt, boy, D hurt. I'm not hurt. You want to talk about my mama some more? I can talk about Earlene. <laughs> well, I'm going to talk, well, talk about Earlene your mama a little bit. Death. I love her Earlene. She already knows. She wouldn't know the professor on your ass. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh, you want to talk about that, though? The abortion <laughs> issue. I go through this at the comedy club all yeah, the time. Marcus, you been to my Why show? You, yeah. When I do the abortion time. jokes, people be laughing. But it be women like Darlene who have no self-control. <laughs> what are you talking about? I laugh at them. I'm just saying you just will never understand how heavy duty it's going to be and what it means. You're, just, you're not a woman. You don't get it. You don't get it. I can joke about it. I, I laugh all the time. You laugh about yours? I could. You could? Yeah, there well, she never saw it, so give it's a, like... Give me a joke about oh yours, Oh, my God. Let me what do you give, mean, give me a joke about it? You say you laugh about it. Give me a joke about your experience. No, I'm just saying there was some funny... Did you have good insurance? Did you have good insurance? Were you able to sleep while it happened? What? Some of these girls' insurance Hello, ain't this shit. Wasn't what? They be this having was... to sit through it. They be like... <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> so Get him out of there! That's What's that so sound the baby make when it come out? It be like... <laughs> so ridiculous. What sound did you make when you were creating it? I wonder what your little cum, cum face was. How'd your, how'd your cum face look, Tori, when you were making it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> well, the baby face probably looked the same. Uh -huh. Why are you worried about my cum face? This, they, should, they, should, they should make all women... See? <laughs> Every time a dude come in them... It should be played back at the end of the year, like them videos for oh, that's the yearly the word. video. No. He, ah, bitch, he, <laughs> ah, fucking whore. Ugliest faces. <laughs> fucking replays. <laughs> All they replays of the dick they got that year. Ugliest God faces. should just make it come back in their face. <laughs> Pay me. Slap you. Fuck. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't the only one, D. This show might not even make it to the air. Good. Good. They gonna yank this show. Speaking of Yankee. <laughs> they should sell Yankee caps at abortion clinics. <laughs> Give them t-shirts on the way out. Mm, 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 mm. Watch. Somebody, somebody say, I'm going to abort last summer. Good thing, you can't, good thing you can't make babies anymore, Corey. Hey, if I'd have made a baby, I'd have kept it. That's I ain't finna go nowhere and lay on a machine and had a baby yanked out of me. That's just immoral. You're not a woman. You need a break. You can't make She said, You're not a woman, so yeah. I won't know. <laughs> oh, Lord. What? I tried not to even talk about yeah. the abortion it's stuff. Cause I, I knew you wouldn't either. Cause he, gonna I knew it was going to hurt. Guys. I don't think he wouldn't either because he wouldn't even get no light on. He looked like that. Who, Corey? <laughs> oh, he would definitely couldn't, wouldn't have a baby. Hell no. Wouldn't be able to. He's afraid of a little fly that flew in here. He's scared. Mar Marcus ain't got to worry about no babies. He can't make none. <laughs> he he, he acts like his hard. rubbers and shit. Everybody knows. <laughs> You out there fucking hoes. You done kept one of them. Out of all the pussy no. you done had. Hey, man. Stop it. He just messed with you, Mark. All the pussy you done bragged about. Ain't no proof. Oh, bro. Huh? What you mean? A you child is proof you been fucking. Oh, There's shit. no greater proof you been fucking than a child. Somebody just can't be smart. Now, what do you what about a proof you've been fucking. Huh? But you can't just be smart about being Oh, I got videos, nigga. What are you talking about? You ain't got no video of you yeah. fucking, nigga. Mm. The lies you tell, nigga. I got, I, know, I got beautiful being footage. You okay? keep sexual footage? Hell right? yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Okay. Shit, yeah. Do well, you show the proof, Mark. <laughs> Do you record it on a regular camera? Show the proof. On my phone. No. The no. people who performed at the BET Awards want to see the proof. No. <laughs> you do not film on your phone. Yes, I do. 
She had you don't on. have the cloud on, do you? Huh? I don't give a damn. Oh, um, we about to see Marcus. This is Marcus part of the up. new generation. Be, These young people always film no. themselves fucking. I get permission first. It don't matter. No, what? She get mad. Get out there. Huh? Something's gonna she get gonna out get there. She's gonna get mad at me, y'all. She's gonna get out there. You done film yourself fucking? Not on a phone. D. On old school cameras. Oh yeah, you was doing Hello? porn. I wasn't, I wasn't okay, well now that's the point. With my man. Yo, who had the camera? Both of us. I have. Oh, oh no, nah, D, y'all had nothing to get in the room with the camera. What? D, you too not. easy. <laughs> it's too these, easy to get you, D. You see these stands? D said, Shit. not on a phone. You see these stands? We had stands like that. That regular camera, just like that. Shit, y'all don't know. Y'all had a butler filming. You had the butler filming. <laughs> Bend over, D. No, no. <laughs> Tripod is your friend. <laughs> That's what took her to the slaughterhouse, the butler. What, so Ice-T you... has to work this week. It's <laughs> oh my duty God. to take you Jesus to, Christ. was it called Planned Parenthood back then? Stop. Well, Ice, if you're watching, so what you, I know. Don't, what you, what you, what you, what you, you keep it cool. What you, what, what, you do with funny the, what you do with the tape? I'm not talking, I'm not saying anything Come on, we'll, Leave we'll, her alone, she put her foot in her mouth. We're gonna kill I did not, how'd I put my foot in my mouth? Oh, you was like, you taped yourself, it's in the cloud. But that's what I'm saying, I didn't use my phone. This right, yours school. ain't in the cloud, right? No, it's like old school film. Well, that I makes it better, cool. what are D. we talking about? I D. ate, it is clear. Hers D. is not in the cloud. Kim Kardashian got a lot of money. We okay. get you out here in these streets, dude. Me, I, you got one thing. You don't. You don't know anything about me. Huh? I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't care about status, power, any of that stuff. You can't come at me and say, "Hey, I got this money. Let's go." You don't care no more. No more. I never have. You better check the pedigree. You better check my history, my mo. No, everything she did, she did because she dude. wanted to do. Not I like Kardashian. Kardashian. I don't need all that. That don't Kardashian impress me. Kardashian did like like Ryan said. She did it for the numbers. Yeah, that don't impress me. I don't. I'm not, I'm not. That Kardashian family is so strange. The daddy, that. you can't even call him daddy no more. Marcus, if people, any, a lot of people wanted to do that, it would have been done. There's a thing, you, you can't make yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like they wanted to become famous. So many people out here could have done something like that. And it's, it's, it's a choice. No. Hmm. A lot of, can you imagine that? People go, oh my God, that's how they did it? Look, Paris, it was, she just wanted some notoriety. She just wanted recognition. She already had money. Who was talking about Paris Hill? Paris Hill, she was like the first one, one of the first ones. That had a sex tape that got out there? Yeah. You watched that one too? Did I watch them? No, I've never even seen any of them. You ain't never seen none of the, none of the sex tapes? Old ones, like the old ones when they first came out, like Jane Kennedy and stuff like that. He don't first. look at sex tapes. She I look at used dick to, but right. I don't have to where I used to. Oh my see, God. Deep, deep dicks that pop out somehow. She's <laughs> jealous. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, to avoid any further frustrations. <laughs> On your part, yeah. Uh -huh. We gotta go. Uh -huh. Wanna drink some water? I don't need any water. Ew. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. You do have some residuals on the side. Do I? For real? Ew. 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 It Marcus. ain't dead baby residuals, though. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> they, had the, they had the new abortion ass. machines when you did it, D. That's ass residue on your lip. They had the new. What are you talking about? They, they got new abortion machines now. But the one when you did it, they had you the. You should know. They had the manual one. They pushed in. They got the pills now. <laughs> you can no. take a pill. I was just gonna I talk about, about it because everything's yeah. gone up. You know but we talk saying? about the one they push in the room. Look like a ditto machine. All the old school motherfuckers know what a ditto machine is, but they make your homework off it. Oh no! Churning butter, damn. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> This is a part of the show where D gets to kill it. <laughs> D's loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. At least you partook in that. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, so Monique, Monique apologized. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but you heard about that, right? No. She apologized. No. All right, so Monique. What did she say? Monique apologized. What was she forced Wait, to say? I'm going to do it in a Corey's way, and then you'll get what I mean. Monique apologized? Because... <laughs> Kind of. Um, during her set on June 18th, which was what, last weekend, she said she wanted to apologize to DL's wife and his babies. It gets a little deeper, but I'm going to keep it short. And his babies, if I hurt their feelings. That was never my, excuse my language, goddamn intention. But that N word, DL, I meant every motherfucking thing I said. And then it gets a little deeper. She explains why she's apologizing and blah, blah, blah. But 
Oh, she got a personal vendetta with with him. So. With a lot of people, but it, it don't matter. I mean, like, the sister is who she is. Just like she said who I am, you know, she, like, um, she's been doing what she's been doing a long time. I'm not mad at, I'm not mad at her, though. I don't hold it personal because I haven't had to be around her like that. I thank God I haven't had to be in that situation because I believe it would go bad because... She speaks her mind, and I, mm -hmm. I speak my mind. And right. if it was something where I was around her, I, I know I would say what I want to say. You know, and then I don't, right. I, to avoid drama with her and daddy, I don't, I just leave it alone. Oh, that's true. That's don't what be calling that man daddy. No, well, that's, that's what, what, what she, she calls him, daddy. Yeah. I mean, I don't you even know call the guy's name. name. <laughs> well, I don't know his real <laughs> name. Oh, I'm just yeah. saying. Oh, it's oh, like, I got. Monique's I, husband. That's what I ain't calling that nigga no Is that what you call him? Monique's husband. <laughs> they are married though, right? Yeah, yeah, they married. Are they? Uh, what she you say? I think so. I think she's just saying some shit. I don't know. <laughs> what she be saying? Feel yeah. they married? Yeah, see? See, well, everybody con just thinks so. But anyway. Congratulations if they marry. All right. All right. Let me tell you something. If my money was low, I'd be just like dude. You think I won't make boy give me a fat bitch with some money so quick? <laughs> if my paper was low? <laughs> boy, you crazy than a motherfucker. I ain't finna be out here. What up? I ain't finna be out here starving oh, and this. Back. He doesn't have his glasses on. Or his contact. <laughs> <laughs> you better not have no baby. That baby gonna come out. <laughs> 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 Let's go black. I'm a bad. Anyway. All right. So she, I guess that's what you call what? Half ass apology? That's Is that that's what you call it? Well, because you can't say I apologize to these other particular people in his family and then say, but him. It was directed towards him, so. Why anyway. do you think okay. she would apologize at all if it's so insincere like that? Somebody told her, you have to make some type of apology so we can move forward with, with this. But why so not just she go didn't, all the way? Okay. She didn't I apologize. No. She, she's prideful. Yeah. She's prideful. Yeah. I, so, I don't look at it, because I'm big on, if you apologize to somebody, you don't go, oh, I apologize for you taking it the wrong way, or too bad you, you know what I'm saying? Like that's like a half-ass apology. You just say, I'm sorry, and that's it, be done. It's hard to apologize when you feel like you're right. And yeah. she feel like she right. Mm -hmm. Hey man, look, I ain't mad at the sister. Y'all motherfuckers be trying to act like I hate her. I don't be, I'm not in a situation where, mm. you know what I'm saying, I'm working with her every week or something like that. Because I'm sure if I was working with her, it would clash. Oh, I know it would. Mm -hmm. It, it, it clashes with so many people. You too, you get your little shit cut off my barber here. No, oh, okay, I, yeah, that was. That, <laughs> he's talking about, you get your shit cut. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> talking about, I need a haircut. Fuck y'all. Uh, oh, is that why you got it on? No. You better shave your ball in, huh? <laughs> no, that, uh, this, this. Your haircut's half price, <laughs> half a hit. Yeah. All you gotta do is go down the side. You always double price. Anyway, so I guess we take that. Double here. I mean, good luck to yeah. Monique. I mm -hmm. believe Monique is not done. She'll get other chances out there. Mm -hmm. That's why she apologized for the next chair. <laughs> Which is funny if you really think about it. Okay, I'll apologize. To his wife and his daughter, but not to him. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. I mean, anyway. it shows a lot about what's going on. And. I'm telling you, man, there are, there are a lot of people who know what's up with that. Mm. And, but do I think it's Monique's last shot? No. Oh, no. Because there are people who like to go against the grain mm -hmm. and still have that type of atmosphere around them. You're right. But do I believe she's going to come out the bag again? Hell yeah, she's going to come out the bag again. She's going to do some scandalous shit, and it's going to be even harder for people to want to work with her. Mm -hmm. I know like if I was on tour and they said we got Monique on there, I would be worried and I would have paperwork done up so if something goes wrong, the transition is smooth. Right. I would have but the paperwork right. Yeah. I'd be like, if she yeah. get to doing this or whatever, whatever, right. like this is how we got to do clause. it. Yeah. She can't have no power over me. Mm. I've seen somebody, uh, some, some people say that uh, they said me she didn't get no money out of it. Well, they said settlement. If it was some money worth bragging on, right. they would have yeah, said she, it. Yeah, it's undisputed. She can't. Just, I think she can't because she said Somebody said she yeah. just Phil said says she got paid. Yeah, well, that's good if she got paid. Yeah. How much, Phil? 50. Hmm? She got paid. Wait, on the meal side of the game? She got 
Well, she got a meal ticket. Oh, yeah. that's good. She okay. back in the game. She don't need. You better go bump that. You better go bump that. Now he bumped it out the way. Oh, okay. Monique's sexy than a motherfucker. Now if she got that, Monique gotta eat that pussy from the back now. If you got hey. all that, come fuck with a nigga. I've been wanting you, baby. Oh. It's just these wow. fucking shows kept us away from each other. I oh. miss you and need you, Monique. <laughs> you see this? If you need a, if you need wow. a, just kiss the bottom of your foot, Monique. Uh, if you need a stronger daddy. You, if that's okay, this is this is right here. You know what I'm saying? You want a real Monique, daddy. you don't want another bald head, motherfucker. You want a motherfucker oh that can give you a baby with some hair. This if them <laughs> eggs ain't all spoiled, Shallow. I'm gonna knock it down. Oh. I never well, miss, yeah. like Denzel said. Well, Monique, that head ain't gonna come. They gonna come out and bust shit wide open. You don't want. You don't Monique want. Monique to fight your little ass if y'all was together, motherfucker. <laughs> you don't want no little short nigga making uh, little short babies, Monique. Uh, she already has grown kids. I don't think she wants any babies. It don't, huh? You know I know her ex-husband. Oh. I, I was around the little the little light skinned brother. She don't like little short black motherfuckers. She, she like tall to one. black motherfuckers, Marcus. She was married to one. Her first one. Well, she was married to who? Did you just say he was my size? He was light skinned. He was your size, but he was a little red boy. He didn't look like you. You got the slave baby face. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you got a good hair. Yeah. And he cut hair. Yeah. yeah. You got the janitor face. You ain't that yeah. tight, Marcus. You cafeteria working face ass. Like Monique. AI Matrix at Hollywood. Fuck all Monique. that shit we talk <laughs> about. <laughs> this for Hollywood. Baby, I've been trying to fuck with you. <laughs> Come <laughs> get me, baby. Right. Be, be. All his anger was jealousy. He was just jealous. So Corey, she'll, be, like, she'll be precious in your ass. She's going to treat your ass like precious, nigga. That's you okay. don't care. He would let her. How he much money letters. you say? Was it a, a meal? A, yeah. Monique, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I retract <laughs> everything I said. I didn't mean to talk about nothing in your life. I was wrong. <laughs> fuck with me, Monique. <laughs> and daddy can stay in the picture, right, y'all three? Oh. <laughs> Abort D, Monique. Oh, stop. Whatever. I don't think she ha can have any more kids. Uh, anyway, up. Uh, so like we spoke earlier, the BET Awards were this weekend in L.A. And again, I guess uh, congratulations, Diddy, on his uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, but to me, the best part of that entire little uh, segment was when he brought Shine out. And then, of course, they dropped the Belize uh, flag represented for um, Belize, and everybody in Belize was very excited. And as you know, Shine had served the 10 years, remember? For, <laughs> and that was a big thing, because um, people thought, oh, he's, you know, we're never going to hear did from he Shine again. Did he do a song? What? what? Yeah, he did a little bit. He didn't what? sing. What? He didn't sing. He didn't sing. He didn't sing. He said, what? That's how them boys sound when they be in their ass <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> So good for Shine, you know. Maybe he'll, I don't know if he's going to do anything else, but anyway, that was not, that was good for them, you know, bringing him out. So what? I don't think he's going to do that now. No, because I don't know if he's bringing him out just to, like, you know, how you say, you know, pay respects. Like, we'll look, be on TV, know. boy. Come on I, now, it's an award, boy. I, yeah. Anyway, and he's not, oh, you know what? And he's um, is he a, is a diplomat now? That's why he's here, cause he returned. He was, a, you remember they deported him. So he's a um a diplomat. <clears throat> That's interesting. So they were very excited. The prime minister, of course, um, tweeted out congratulations. Um, it, they said it was a very emotional uh, moment when they were allowed to drop the flag. So if you didn't catch it during the act, they. I think brilliant, I said brilliant yeah. move. It was very That's nice. Brilliant. That was very brilliant. nice. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, you a, you a slick motherfucker. <laughs> stupid. Uh, if anybody caught the verses, if you're a verses fan, the verses this weekend, God, I don't even know what to say. But I do, and I am happy about uh, Mario, because I already knew when I heard I was like, Mario, Mario's great. He can sing. He's great. It was, it, there was a lot of stuff that just was so sad. And it just revealed a lot of stuff about, and it could have just been bad nights for a lot of people. I don't know, Ooh. but if you watch it, it's just some. Um, there was a lot of different little antics and everything. It got, got, got kind of ugly, you know. I don't know if sometimes they're either playing or they're. Well, what really... happened, D? We don't know what happened. Oh well, God. Uh, Ray J. Ray J. Came out and he was put it like this: all the people that were hitting bad notes throughout the entire night, 
it seemed to me like they were making excuses. I mean, just own it and say, oh my God, man, I'm having a bad night or whatever. I'm like, shit, my throat, whatever. And they were blaming it on certain things. It was very obvious. Like Ray J, bless his heart, he was holding, he went and grabbed his little baby boy and he was holding him. And then he was like looking over at Brandy because Brandy's filming it. And it's kind of, they were showing little uh, snippets of other people in the audience and you could tell she was like, oof. Cause like he would sing and it was, it, oh. Well, I, I don't know how it sounded in the auditorium, but it on the- sound like somebody had a chokehold on it. Oh. Oh, and he was like, oh yeah, I had, I had the baby and I couldn't, I was like, wait, what? That don't have anything to do if you can you hit a no, bless his heart. I'm talking about, boy, that boy sounded. Whoa. And then Amarian at some point was like, oh, I can't hear. I can't hear myself. I'm having problems with this. He's trying to break dance his way through the... Uh, oh, it was just ugly. He came up with a water bill. It ate the water bill. That was just disgusting. Like, hey, bring the like, water bill and pass to the crowd. No, they were like, what are we wrong with this? Why do girls stop biting that water bill? Him and his brother tried to act like we're going to bring watermelon out. Oh, and, and Mario was like, oh, my God, Man. really you're bringing props out? Like, that's how bad you need props? So they brought a watermelon out, try to act like that's how you eat a woman out. It was pretty gross. Jeremiah it was gross. Like he was fresh oh, it was so sad. <laughs> almost everybody, almost all those young guys when they came out, nobody. Came. And then Tank came out and killed it. But then Mario said again, oh, you need help. OK, yeah. there you go. He had his shirt on, didn't he? Who? Tank? Oh, no, no, he, he didn't. Little, he no, he had a gray shirt on. No, he didn't. He didn't wait, 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 wait. So, so, so the guy who sound good was who? Tank? came out and did like a little Mario. thing on, no, on um, Omarion's no, no, set. No, no, it was like he kept bringing out people, but no, but they, here's the thing. They were rough on Mario to begin with. Like they just came out and like tried to diss him, kill him, whatever. Mario? Yeah, Mario uh, right there. Okay, yeah, they were rough on him. Yeah, yeah like they the were disrespecting like him and everything and Who he killed was? it. Uh, Omarion, the other guy, a lot of other people online, things his, like that. Look, look right there, look at his nose, Cor. What about it? It looked familiar. Oh my God, he killed it. Is I that, love you me said his nose look like my nose? He I love Samario nose. and he I think he got it. a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you better stop. Leave we both get kids. Anyway, good for you, Mario. He did good. He he hung in there because they were rough on him, but he hung tight and he So it was a it. big diss each other thing going on. It was on awful. Right and another uh, highlight of the night, I didn't see the whole thing. I kept past him. I was like, oh, I, oh. I mean, I'm so bad. You can even, you're like, oh, is so this Jeremiah even happening? So didn't sound good? Oh. Mm. You got oh. oh man, you were saying oh, they were. Oh. I mean, it sounded like it, it was. It, you could <laughs> eat, you could see people's reaction in the audience, like the camera would shoot and people well, like. Been auto to the sub, he's oh, been. it was. Well, that's what music is. When people go into the studio, a lot of times, you be like, bam. But then when you go see them live, you be like, oh, oh, them niggas oh. should have been passed out lemons. Them they should have been passed out. When you get older, Wee. your voice can leave if you don't practice that voice. Yeah. yeah, if you don't take care of it. Yeah. They play my boy Pleasure P though. Pleasure P can sing too. Mm -hmm. That's one for Pretty Rick. Okay, is that his, his first? What's his name? What's his name again, Marcus? Pleasure P. Oh. He yeah. gonna change it to Passion. Yeah, his, his real name Marcus. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Say, it, say it one more time. What's his name? Pleasure P. <laughs> Stop. We what? Anyway, it's, it's something to see, but Mario hung, hung in there. He did really good. Uh, that was really interesting. Somebody um, said nobody sounded good but Mario. Yep, that is true. No, Tank came out and did his little bit, like a tiny little... He, the snippet. Tank scene? Yeah. He I'm came out and did his, he came out and did his a little, little something something. Ray J got pissed off when the boys started singing his song. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh my <laughs> God. God. It's like Because he was tearing his song up so bad, nigga. They went up there. The, the competition was over there helping them. And the nigga that was... Because they had teammates. Yeah. But the janitor or something? Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, they were battling. They was battling. He was battling. Um, he was battling Pleasure P and uh. uh That's the, the little earlier one, right? There was a couple little earlier battles. Yeah, that was, that was, they had a prelim. I battle. couldn't tell. Everybody had glasses on, dark hat. I couldn't. I was like, who are these it guys? It was Ray J and Bobby Valentino against Pleasure P and Sammy. Oh, uh, Sammy? Yeah, Sammy yeah. was holding. What's his name again? The way you look at me. Sammy. Sammy was no, he was hanging. Some other nigga name. Sammy. No, what's the nigga before him? Man, he Pleasure me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was entertaining. Bless their hearts. I mean, you know. Somebody say Sammy seven. did good. Yeah, Sammy did. He did. Yeah, him he and sure Pleasure did. P did that thing. Pleasure P got the hits, though. He did really good. So anyway, it was, it was, uh, uh, it was interesting. So yeah, good for Mario. Yeah, them boys been in the Bruce relationship. They been getting choked out or something. I don't know what they going through. Uh, congratulations to Johnny Depp. Um, word is that the Pirate of the Caribbean franchise is actually going to bring him back on. Hey, hey, Remember, he claimed hey. that he wasn't in that one, huh? I'm sorry, D. I didn't uh -huh. mean to cut you no, off. Abe, okay. I need your help. 
Would you go they, back on that, Cool? No, but that's if what they he did. You like that? On what? The Pirates of Caribbean. Now they saying they they uh, they taking them back. Mm -hmm. uh, hey man, he gonna sell that motherfucking ticket. Right. Nobody wanted to support the franchise without him. That's the kind of thing. It was okay. almost they should have been done that. So anyway, good for him. Good for Johnny Depp. Is it a way? Um, this weekend is a big UFC fight weekend. You guys are actually calling it Fight Weekend. Oh, that's my boy, Adesanya. If you guys, is that how you say it? Good, I need you to pronounce it. Oh, I don't even know how to say it. I don't. I don't. See, wait, wait, let me see. And you already know it. Let me know, eh? Anyway, so this weekend is a big fight weekend. They're actually calling it Fight Fight Weekend. It's the UFC's 276 fight card. PPV lineup, it's for, say it, Marcus. No, I don't know what you say. I don't know what you say. Adesanya? You weren't going to say it like that at first. Yes, I was. That's how you. Adesanya, Adesanya versus. Adesanya. But how do you say that? Kanan. Ooh. Ooh. Kanan. Kanan. That might be it. Kanonier. Kanan. Kanonier. And it's these guys. Where, where is it at? These guys. Oh, let me see it. Oh, it's shit. gonna be big. It's so a it's, out of sight for the fight that swole ass black. And there, yes, good. there's like six They're big fights. Good. See, that is what they didn't want it to be too many black on black fights like that. Yeah, I know that, but that dude he for the fight right yeah. there is yeah. a monster. Yeah. Israel Adesanya and Jared Conan. Well, both of them are Israel. And Three look, champions and, are all Africans. And their and their card. I is, haven't seen the heavyweight fight uh, since he uh, since he won it. Oh, oh man. Have this you is, seen, this you is see middleweight. It's a middleweight fight, and then there's a featherweight fight after that. The female fight unfortunately was canceled. Uh, the bitches had abortion. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh. They had to go make a trip though. Man, we had to go get this for this for they should take that. Nike to L.A. <laughs> for the Merkin. But both of they should take that a fight card. See that baby fight that abortion machine. Oh. Get off me! Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, they these two guys, the the head, the head, of course, the headliners, um, the main fights. Them. They both have quite a few wins, right? That Adesanya that, is a light heavyweight. Yeah. It's middleweight. It, they're fighting middleweight this weekend. So Adesanya, oh, Adesanya is fighting middleweight. Uh, yep, and he, he went just, down to fight him. That, that's his weight. That is his way. Usman is the light heavyweight. Usman. Usman. Oh, Israel, Israel. No, Israel Adesanya is the light heavyweight, and the other dude who ain't lost to nobody, he's the middleweight. No, nah, because John Bone Jones is light heavyweight. John Bone Jones is light heavyweight. And him and Israel is not in the same. Uh, yes, no. they are. That's why. Are that's they? why they went. That's why they was talking about like, nah, it wouldn't be good for him to battle. Okay, they were, like, well, John we'll, Bone we'll see. Big. Anyway, uh, Vegas, like, Vegas, right, Vegas I, is going to be on fire. There's going to be fights all weekend. So. That's this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm so on well, ESPN. I'm off. Do you know I might go to Vegas? <laughs> let go. I might go to Vegas and just be walking around that motherfucker. Should it's going to be a lot of fights all weekend. Oh, I weekend. might go out there this weekend. Since I can't travel, I was supposed to go somewhere with my mama tomorrow. Mama, I can't make it. Oh. Something happened. Lord. I know Tiffany told you. Middle can't way. make it. Yeah. Middleweight. Middle way. Yeah, that's what it said on here. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'll be the that'd be the best way for them. Okay, to maybe y'all right. Maybe y'all right. That'll be the best way for them to have boys and anyway to get in that ring and just get knock the baby out. Oh right. Lord. Yeah. All they gotta do is put a monitor in on in I mean Put a, a, a camera in the girl and watch the baby fight it off. <laughs> Tiffany, I mean, Br <laughs> Tiffany, Brittany Griner, they extended her uh, stay. Um, they extended her it stay. by six. Well, her cap, whatever. They the didn't let was. her go. They gave her an extra six months, but she's facing 10 years if she, if this trial doesn't go her way. And the trial starts Friday. Mm, 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 mm. So they saying that they trying to keep that girl for 10 years in prison? No, it's a possibility that's what she could get if this, this trial doesn't oh, go man. her way. That's cold-blooded, man. Yeah, man, that's... And what, 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 what they say for, uh, uh, what's them, uh, uh... But they're detaining what is the, her for another... What is What's she had? What's she had? CBD oil? Yeah, the little, she had the little, what you call it? The, the little smoke, but it ain't no... Vape. Vape. She had vape, vape, right? Vape pen. Oh, it had hash in it. Oh, appreciate it, DJ Richard. Well, we, now we need somebody to explain what hash oil is. Either way, that Russia was not having it. You're supposed to zero, I think, zero tolerance or whatever. So, oof. 
Mm-mm-mm. I said that shit when it happened. That is and, true. Um, when you're traveling out of the country and you're black, don't get caught with no red-handed evidence because they, they would love to detain you. And for Brittany Griner to be over there this long. Because she was playing for him too. That means that they really own some bullshit. Yeah, I told y'all that. They don't, they don't, they, they don't. Yeah, there's another agenda behind that. She's a, this ain't the, they, they was like, this ain't the BET Awards, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> bitches in suits get put in the boot out there. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> what they say? Yeah, he went and got that ball kid out. Remember, right quick. Yeah, Biden don't give a fuck about that. You know what about that? Shit. You know his priority is. Phil say Trump and Putin cool, so if Trump was still in office, he'd have got out. He might be trying to wait and cut himself a deal to try and help out with this. Who knows? I don't know. Trump don't want that pussy. Anyway, uh, real quick, heads up. If you ever go to a funeral home or a funeral or just around any dead bodies, you cannot do anything. I don't think a lot of people knew this. You cannot do anything to the body. Let's just say, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, it's a side chick. She gets upset. Her dude died. He goes, she goes to the, she's mad. She does something. They, they can um, arrest her. And in certain states, it's an actual felony. So this woman in Texas, because in Texas, it's a felony charge. She spit on this corpse. They have no idea why. They, she hasn't said the story yet, but they arrested her. She was 51, and she went into the funeral home. It was not during the service, but they have her on videotape, and she, she went right up to the body, and she spit on him. But she just, spit on the corpse? Yeah. At and the front? No. Well, the if funeral, a bitch would kill a baby, she would spit on a oh corpse. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so, yeah, so they arrested her. Her last name was Hines, but uh, you can get it. In some states, it's a misdemeanor, but in places like Texas, it's a, you can't do anything. They said if you if you disturb, you damage, you do anything to the uh, to uh, be offensive in offensive manner to a human corpse, they can get you on any of those charges. So, misdemeanor in most states, but in Texas, it's a felony. So where did, where was the corpse? At? In the funeral home. It wasn't during like where oh, a bunch of people. The, it was before the. Right, she made a personal visit. You know where they'll keep a body yeah. there and you'll like come before or after? Oh, yeah. you're talking about the, oh, oh, oh. So it wasn't with okay. a bunch of people there. Okay, but okay. Either, either way, that would have just been more um, witnesses. She thought she was going to do something, I guess, you know. She spit in the face. She spit on Let me body. tell you something about a funeral home. This is what happened out here recently. Can't do it. No. Felony. What's the, what's the charge? $10,000. No, what's the, what's the title of the charge? Uh, what is it called? Yeah. Spit on a dead motherfucker. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. No, it actually is a, a defacing a like defacing a, a corpse. corpse. So, this is what I want y'all to know about funeral homes. Funeral homes cannot wait to get their hands on your recently passed loved one's mm. body mm -hmm. because. Abusive as court. soon as they get the body, the hustle begins. begins. <laughs> Damn it. As soon as you turn your people over to the funeral home, it is the worst shit in the world. Mm. I recently know somebody who lost their uncle. He was in the funeral home for less than an hour. They said, we don't want the body embalmed. The bitch at the funeral home lied and said, we already did it. Mm. So the person I know, glad they wise like that, mm -hmm. they went to the funeral home immediately and said, how much of the embalming fluid, we want to see the readout of the embalming fluid you put in the body. The reason they do this, the state regulates the embalming fluid because it's basically PCP. Mm -hmm. It's just shit people get high off of. Sure. Mm -hmm. So the state regulates, you have to put a certain amount in the body. The lady got caught in the lie because the person knew 
They, you have to show the readout mm -hmm. of what you put in there. And she couldn't. She, she was like, provide well, it. I'll tell you what. Just don't worry about it. We won't charge you. Bitch, you tried to lie. Uh. So you can claim more money off the insurance. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what you're doing when somebody dies, their final celebration is going to be the biggest fuck you over party you can imagine. Learn yeah. about what happens and what you should do with your loved one before you turn it over to any funeral home. I mean, Every candy. funeral home in America. Well, I can't say that. I can't say and that. And not only that, in certain states you can. 90 something percent of the funeral homes in America are corrupt. When you For turn sure. your people over sure. to them motherfuckers, they trying to work some insurance or work you. Mm -hmm. It's better to rent out a motherfucking church if you're going to hide a body at a funeral home. You know what I'm but saying? But you know you don't have to. In certain states, you don't have to. You can actually have it at your home. Legally, I don't even want to be in no church. three days for three days. What D said is very important. You need to know what you're allowed to do and in what you state. and plan out what you should do if something happens in the untimely demise of a loved one. Because yeah. soon as you on the phone with a funeral home, you about to get fucked over. Please let that be a lesson from the 5150 show you learn. Funeral home people are pieces of shit. With soft voices. Uh. How are you? I don't, I don't know. I know this is bad. You're playing that music. Me. I mean, like yeah. <laughs> my, one, a person I know passed, a loved mm -hmm. one, and I'm so glad he was a Muslim. Because the Muslims get you in the ground within three days of your death. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your brothers, your Muslim brothers, come take care of you. I didn't know what to do when my brother passed. Me and my people who was you know, who was with him. But we called. You had a brother? This one, it ain't my brother, like brother. My, yeah, through not blood, actually. but I call him my brother. Oh, okay, okay. We called my guy. And I, he'd been on the show a couple of times. His name Preacher Moss. And he knew him too. If it wasn't for Preacher Moss, I don't know how fast we could have got done what we needed to get done. Because mm -hmm. Preacher Moss was like, you know, he one of the Muslims. Mm -hmm. He was like, he was fucked up that the brother passed. Then Preacher Moss kicked right in. The brothers, mm -hmm. the, the brothers from the Muslim, they came to the hospital, they got the body, they wrapped it up, they had the service, and made sure he was put in peace, down, saw through the right way. Don't cost do a that. whole bunch of money People don't and know. all that shit. Yeah. I'm, People don't know. I'm, 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 I'm the only one that feels like, I don't really want to uh, go out in no, in no church. I don't want you to have my service in no church. Not well, you need to make yeah. sure your loved ones yeah. know that. I, I like, what you want to be? Strip club? Oh. <laughs> no, like, I do you it. You want to melt like chocolate? I do, I do it at the house. <laughs> at yeah, the you house. can. I do you it. can. I do it at the house. You let them know. You say you want to get buried at the house. You I'm, let them know. Like a big service. Ass, nice ass house, now the service is crib. Yeah. So that way y'all ain't got to worry about all these the rules and regulations. What if the bitch you with say, I don't want that nigga in here no more. He dead. <laughs> Can't. Just oh, make it oh, legal. A lot of people don't yeah. have make wheels. Make it legal. And this happens oh. all the time. Oh, Feel no way lying. They're going to be a wheel. Let my wheel be done. That gonna be a wheel? There you go. Let my wheel be done. You, if mm -hmm. you don't have a wheel that is put in a place where it can be publicly seen, you should put your wheel on Facebook. That way it can't be denied. Mm -hmm. I'm, I will. There he is. A lot of people don't think of that. Cause <laughs> they, they, say, they said Prince didn't have a wheel and we know that's bullshit. Prince was very thorough and on top of a lot of shit. Yeah. Oh, Chad Chadwick Boseman, Boseman, that's right. And that actually, shit all out there. last week, Put it was- Put your wheel on social media. They divided So the world people. see it. And y'all better have me a fresh ass suit too. Legally, they, clean speaking of Chadwick Boseman and Wills, yeah, they, they, the that just closed up <laughs> last week. They divided it legally between his parents and the wife. Half and half. Anyway, I know it's late. Uh, word of the week, and I know you've heard this, especially lately when Trump was in office, the word nepotism. You know what that is? What does that it's mean? the word of the week. Nepotism is when it's, it's a form of favoritism. So like, like you get I thought it's when you don't comb your hair. Very, nepotism. Yeah. 
It's like, you know, like people are granted relatives and friends in various fields. Remember how you talked about that one story about when you went to that job and then you, that one guy got a job and it was like the nephew or something of like the owner of the company or the uncle or what have you. But it's, that's, that's nepotism. Like the Trump kids, they all say, oh, that's nepotism at its finest because they're saying that because they were related to him, that's where they, they got those positions. So. DB learning words, studying for the Man, show. I'm so doing proud of you. Week. Why not? I thought that was just something to I, I add, do clever. I do oh, see? Yeah, but you about it. to steal my move? <laughs> steal it? I started it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know y'all ain't saying word of the week was started by either one of y'all. That shit been on something. I didn't TV say it. Show. I didn't bring anything up about starting. He just said it. I was like, why not? What is no, that? I ain't saying I started. I said I started doing it. All right, motherfucker. I got this scarf on this week because yeah. I just got out the shower and I didn't feel like doing nothing to my hair. So Let's I see it. Took, oh, I don't give a fuck. Oh, no, no. I was just kidding. Oh, oh. oh. I was going to say them bullets going to fly. <laughs> The nepotism, <laughs> the nepotisms are gonna fly out. <laughs> no, Marcus. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! Ah. Whoa, what? Ah. What is going on? This ain't no funeral home. <laughs> <laughs> no. Welcome to hell. No. What did Prince? What was Prince's dad saying in, in Purple Rain? What was? <laughs> what did he say in Purple Rain? I don't know. But he reminds me. Don't I keep the heat on? <laughs> I lost my baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry. I say Paul I'm Moody sorry. Jr. Fuck you, KG Lloyd. Oh my God. Why? <laughs> I am trying to hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to kill myself? Fluff up, up the back. Go like, go like this a little bit. <laughs> if you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like Prince Ooh. dead. Ooh, yeah. Yep, if it was great. <laughs> Look at that, that bro lay low. Oh my God! Just get your ass up here. Oh my back. God! <laughs> I can't with this one. <laughs> Woo! Hey, uh, fuck y'all, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Somebody say S girl. I ain't got this. Uh, this is juices and berries. Oh boy. Uh, that nigga lady hey, out, boy. We gonna we gonna go out. We gotta say this. Hey, yeah. you got that video? Oh my god. I don't know how clear it's gonna show up. Do you see this bitch foot? Uh, <laughs> this is Wendy Williams foot. Oh, it's, that bitch. That you got bitch. the whole video, will it play? Somebody in they stand up said that bitch is Bigfoot. That, it, oh, that was a uh, <laughs> cat. Was it cat it, it was on that Look, um, Right here. Look, look at that foot. Okay. That bitch got elephant no, titles. That's a monster. Right. That bitch, is she that's a stocking on? That's a men in black. Boy, that's her yeah. foot. Do you see? Yeah, it's we can see. Yeah. Oh, that bitch got a Muppet okay, foot. Do you see this? Yeah. Why I told okay. so little? It's Cut it. Why I told so little? Okay. Ah! That okay. bitch got. That is. I they got uh, thumbs for toes. Jurassic Park for that. Maybe 5% of my I, I, I bet you Oh my God, no, she's sick. Somebody, I, somebody I, make I, that Wendy Williams stomp out forest fires video. Oh that. my God. I bet y'all, that footprint's a motherfucker, boy. They like they bored, huh? You better watch out. That nigga Gooch my already hit me. Oh, I might be bro. out there, dog, what in Vegas this week to the that fight shit. That ain't my shit. hair, that's red. That ain't your hair, D? Nope, it was on Marcus. I was like, oh, that ain't mine. How you put Marcus on the, on the spot? What if Marcus got a girl that's watching this and gonna ask him about the hair, oh. D? No, I was actually helping him. I was removing it, and I was like, wait, that's D, not my D, hair. Been rubbing on me over here that's not time. mine. Uh, if she been rubbing on you, and you ain't feeling it, boy. Look, that is not mine. Hard that's, your it's jaw. red. It was D, on you him. you got different colors in your head. Not you like this. That? This is red. I got light, but this is red. Oh. I know I got a diet next week. I do love it. My food over here. All right. Don't leave it open. Boy, I ain't never seen no food like that, boy. That's terrible. Oh, nights like this, I wish <laughs> raindrops would fall. Look at this guy. Look at it does look soft, though. Oh, nigga. I almost want to touch soft? it. It looks soft. Nigga. Is it soft? This is my 1970s motherfucking. Uh, Boy, you got the uh, woman abuser have You better prepare like yourself you for the it looks rubber super band. Soft. Do like this, Corey. <laughs> Let your hair grow out on the side. <laughs> I might. Let it grow out, Marcus. I might. I gotta get a look. I gotta, I gotta get my paper up first before I do that. Got a lot of hair though. Look, it's got a lot it of hair. It grow on the side and on his jaw. Yeah. Is that hair bump? 
And his jaw. <laughs> and his jaw. Anyway, I want to let everybody know that <laughs> anybody who was offended by what I had to say tonight, <sighs> J Lo, uh, abortion bitches, uh, goof ass niggas who be taking the cuss words out of shit and act like you don't cuss. Uh, but you do cuz leave his curse for YouTube. You won't cuz cake ass nigga. That's what my man Smackwater say. Mm -hmm. Smackwater, I ain't trying to steal your shit, dog. I, I promise you, I'm gonna bring you on the show one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that nigga, old cake ass nigga. <laughs> Love you, boy. We gonna figure it out. No, but all y'all motherfuckers who get easily offended. I mean, like, I don't know what to tell you. I have to speak on this. I was compelled to talk about J-Lo when I saw her not give big ups to what got her out here in the game. I was compelled to talk about the abortion even though I tried not to because it's, it's a very sensitive subject. These women have deep regrets for killing their offspring. But they don't like to talk about it. Yeah, they regret it. Uh -oh. They regret it because they wouldn't go back and, and, and keep their baby. Maybe they would now, now that don't nobody else that, be there better. for them. Looks better. Do you think your hair look better like that? No, I'm saying the light went Did out. the light out? What? Huh? <laughs> but I'm just saying, to all y'all people who get offended, you know, there's nothing nobody can do about that. No. Like, if you talk about me, I might get offended also. But You I'm just don't saying. get offended. When have you ever? Yeah, and that light just cut back on by Yeah, itself. it was flickering. That's what you didn't notice. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, like, I get offended sometimes, but I get offended when people take stuff out of context. Sure, anybody would. Like, when yeah. somebody say, oh, Corey, woo, woo, woo. Cool. I remember the time when me and Zoe had an argument on the show where it blew up like that. I was listening to what everybody was saying, and I was just like, well, of course not everybody, but I'm saying there was a lot of people saying, oh, Corey this, Corey that. And I was like, really? Like... I didn't make no points. I mean, I'm just saying, there's a, like, a guy like me, let me tell you something. I'm a dark-skinned black man. I'm like a black man from down south looking ass nigga. If I get into an argument with a light-skinned nigga, people would be like, Corey, why are you saying that to him? And I'm not just saying that. That's what I have found out about being black. And only me. black people can understand what I'm saying. You automatically assume the bully. bully. Right, you're automatic. You're automatically assumed as the bully. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what Marcus was trying. But to say. with that Jim Jim Hill hair, it's a little softer. Like you come off a little softer. Oh, he still look like a beautiful musician. Musician. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, like guitar, he slap people with a guitar. So I'm saying, like, I get I get misunderstood all the time, and then in the long run, I am validated. Hmm. Like I remember the time this dude said to me, like. Oh, the show is about to be over. Motherfucker, what I said about Will Smith and Jada them, it was literally millions and millions of people watching what I have to say. Mm. So when all y'all motherfuckers get mad at me for the stuff I say and all that shit, I'm telling you, man, don't be in your mama basement. That's all I got to say. Don't be a bum ass nigga talk crazy to me because I come from that. But because I get up on off my ass and do what the fuck I'm supposed to do, what I got to say means something. I've been talking shit for a long time. I'm not saying I'm right about everything, but what I am saying is this. I'm doing something right, motherfucker. My hair ain't like Marcus. I can see better than D. I don't <laughs> think so. Yeah, I can see better than D. I can not way I'm telling Damn. you. I don't wish the man Bad. Yeah, I can see better. I want him I'm to go get checked. I'm looking for far away you can read. I want him to go get checked out. Watch, that's if gonna you, tell it all. If you go down Skid Row, it's gonna be like 90% of them who got their hair like that. Write the word <laughs> Planned Parenthood Stop. on the wall. <laughs> Do you spell it out? What? What are you talking about? I said my funny know. joke. Yeah, okay. I Skid Row, most of the niggas on Skid Row look like you. <laughs> T-shirt, hat. I see a lot of them with that hair, hair style right there, boy. <laughs> if you, see, if you win, they put, they put water on that motherfucker. That's what you did. This is a 1970 porno hairdo. <laughs> well, the crackheads have adopted that hair style. <laughs> you talk about the black uncles of America. <laughs> All the black uncles of America show up at the family reunion like this. My uncle, he's, 
<laughs> nigga made the best barbecue in the world, dude. Ooh, excuse Wait, me. Corey, Ooh, Jesus you Christ. have the Stephen A. Smith hairline from that oh, perm. Oh, hell. <laughs> you got no fucking perm, nigga. You, you wish. Oh, before we go, I'd like to say, give well, big somebody up. say, um, J.D. Maccabee say Will Smith just went off on Jada. No, he did. We'll have to see. Me. We'll have to see. Big ups to the Coin Academy and also a... Somebody say I use LeBron, LeBron Barber. They got a barber upstairs. Layla want me to motherfucker use the barber. I bet uh -oh. he probably a good ass barber. It's just, I am growing my hair out, out. everybody. <laughs> so I will be getting it tapered a little bit on the side and faded a little bit and get my beard faded so a little what's, bit. So what's, what's the end goal? What's the end goal? You want some dreads or something? I'm gonna be a sexy man with hair. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they, they Thanks, T-Fam. I appreciate it. Tell you, homie. <laughs> them hoes love me, boy. But an early happy birthday to... Layla. 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 Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I just said an early happy birthday. Okay, yeah. I said something wrong. I should have said tomorrow. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I said Wednesday. I'm sorry. Oh, Layla birthday tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wednesday, yes. <laughs> I brought some classic teas for him and... um. We love Brother Layla. He's a silent leader. He don't say a lot. He just come out the room. He be like, I had to pick that up over there. <laughs> <laughs> silent ones are the ones you got to worry about. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that boy right there, I want him out of here. Right. <laughs> you don't even have to say words. Sometimes when you that, you have you use it. You just give eyes. His brother, Gomack, is more the outgoing type. What's up, y'all? Yeah. How y'all doing? Y'all good? <laughs> And you got Mac, and Mac could just be in there like, <laughs> just be smiling and stuff. Go back with the nigga slapping niggas. <laughs> <laughs> All motherfuckers that just do this, they'll shoot your ass. Okay, <laughs> but th thanks to the Coin Academy, big time, you guys. Look big at A time. coming over here, fix the light and shit. Oh, you got it? Oh, it was, it was it came back on. That means the battery finna go out when they do that, right? Oh, it's just flashing. Yeah. Yeah. We finna wrap the show up, goddammit. So big shout out to um I think uh Abe look like one of them Wii baseball players. You remember on the Wii, Nintendo Wii? Had them baseball players. <laughs> 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 That's funny as hell. You mad cause, mm -hmm. cause he's taller than you. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> I wanna send a shout out to my mother. Mom, I'm so I'm so sad I can't make it there to do that, and I'm sure Tiffany told you why. Um, I'ma tell everybody else why, even though I'm bogus as hell for doing the show tonight. But, I take a chance with them, I won't take a chance with you. <laughs> I'll tell y'all later on. Okay, um, and um, like, death has hit our family, man. I've, I've had, a, I had, my mother's aunt, that would make her, to me, my great aunt, right? right, right, right. She passed, and then, um, my, damn, I'm gonna say the name wrong. I'm gonna say the name wrong. My cousin on my father's side, mm -hmm. mother passed today. Mm. Uh -huh. And um, I'm gonna make it to Chicago, y'all. I'm gonna come see everybody you because like most of the time I don't get it, I don't have time to get away. I've missed funerals and I feel bad for missing the funerals because mm -hmm. these are like people in my family that, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the elders I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, I just wanted to say that on the air. I'm, I'll be in town, y'all, you know, pay my respects and everything because, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's a cold world. We be here, we be gone. We delicate. Mm -hmm. We be here, we be gone, man. Yeah. So enjoy your time while you're young, Marcus. God, even though he didn't give you hair, he gave you passion, right? He gave you passion. He gave you passion. Nah, I ain't even trying to discipline him. He gave you passion. Don't worry about it, Mark. Stay passionate out here. Like God, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I got hair, so I'm just. Oh here. Lord! But, but that head, he gave you. He gave you extra head. You gave me extra saying? head, me. Yeah. <laughs> You supposed to be two niggas. You supposed to be the Siamese twin, but he just blended you. God took D height. I mean sight. Wait, what I was gonna say? Well, I'm not short. He took your sight though, dude. You've been wearing them glasses for a long time. Yep. I yeah. Well, no, I actually had. I you had have to drive with them on, don't you, D? I don't could, worry about it. D. I could get away. <laughs> I'm like Judge Judy. Don't look over there. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I can get away with it, but I prefer not to. But yeah. 
I had LASIK done, but it went bad again. But I had it for like 20 years. It was good. You know, it, 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 it times out after a while. You it gotta does, get it redone. Yeah. yeah, when I was scuba dive, I even had, it was so bad, I even had goggles that were set with my eyes up, my prescription. Everybody yeah. got uh-huh. something wrong with him. Like Phil, he's slow. He'll move slow. Yeah. You see how he well, he's too it. big. If he moved too quick, he might fall down. He's oh, a big said, guy. He's tall. He's, big? he's a tall guy. It's tall okay. people who move fast. Oh, really? Imagine. Name him. <laughs> a lot of tall people move fast. Shaq looks like he's kind of slow. Shaq has slowed down, but he got more weight on him. I couldn't imagine Phil running. He like, gonna Phil stomp your ass out. Watch, right, Mark. He gonna stomp your ass out. Phil, man, I feel running. <laughs> Shit, that move like he's just a big tall guy. Long ass legs, boy. What size shoe again? You wear Phil? That nigga be st- stepping on streets. What? Up to the next street. Hey, how old are you? I was gonna say fourteen. A sixteen. God gave Abe acne at thirty. <laughs> we got late it's acne. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> this is how it goes. Aw, Asafu Ryder said he'd put his yeah. finger in my nose. I'm pretty what? sure the long ass legs, you can outrun me. Well, well you Phil beat you running that boy. I laughed so <laughs> hard, man. Uh oh. Oh, darn it, Phil. Oh, we were, gonna, we're about to do a yeah. challenge. Yeah. We got Nail over there. Nail has an abnormally small head. Like, it's, it almost is irregular. <laughs> oh, he, got, he got a neck with a ball on it. Wow. <laughs> a little PS. No. He got a neck with a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Really? I didn't, you think I didn't notice your head? I'm like, damn, where's his head at? Somebody said it, they're like, yeah, you have a big neck. You like the dude in Men in Black who get his head blown off and he go back. <laughs> <laughs> and now, damn it, this guy. I never noticed that. Now I'm just saying. God took court for uh, taste and fashion. And then, what? I could hear yeah. it wasn't funny. Yeah. You ain't hear it. <laughs> you ain't hear it. He just didn't hear it. He said, God the code taste and fashion. Fashion. What he's fashion. trying to say is he took my taste in fashion. Oh yeah, you just didn't hear it. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's messed up, Jay Samuels. What'd they say? Zika head. That What'd is they say? messed up. Zika. Yeah, remember that when people were getting that disease from the mosquito bites and stuff? Well the head got small. No, it got big. Now you'll hear like that thing. On, oh, it did. Uh, it got small. Did it shrink? No, I don't know. No, not you. <laughs> now you that dude put that Beetlejuice stuff on your head. He put it right there. Not. That's what you say. I love it. <laughs> now you look it. like a twenty-four-year-old toddler. You got, yeah. Wow, you got a, look at that. They ate. You got a baby face. Uh huh. Get him, Nail. What? You know, 26, man. Oh, 26. Uh, oh, damn. He calling you old. See, man, that's don't a good let one. nobody can... talk about you. You're the sexiest praying mantis I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not bald because I told you mine's shaped like a little praying. I call it a cute little praying mantis. Well, I know. Head. If you had a bald head, D, people wouldn't look you at you. You probably got a dip in the top of your head, don't you, D? <laughs> no, but I look good. I, I love my head for ponytails. Like, I put it. That's why I love to put it up in a. You got a head, D. What does that mean? Just Google the movie Toxic Avenger. D head is just like that, but she got hair. She hides it. How do you know I have a Toxic Avenger? Oh, I have told you that I have. Look uh, at your head. It's flat in the back. It is not flat in the back. I was going to say feel it, but I'm scared. I bet you got a dip in the top of your head. I, yes, because yeah, like, yeah, Rose like stopped pushing, and I, I heard that it went out, the little fountain that came back in, and it made like a little dip. But it's shaped like a little praying mantis. Choo, choo, choo. So you got to get right. Marcus the translator. He's cute. I don't mind it. Hey, man, look, I asked y'all a question, man. Hit the like button. You can feel it if you Subscribe. Want. I don't say this every week. <laughs> you can feel it. Because you I don't that, want everybody to essential, oh, feel like I'm putting pressure on them. But Put listen, your comment. I know it's some big time guys watching this show, man. Go on here and subscribe, you man. You got a funny shit. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe see? to the show, man. You see, you got the, I told you. They got nuts on oh, sorry. Got, got see what this mediocre shit they talk about. <laughs> Go ahead. What happened? They got, I'm talking about the shape of her head. She's got nuts right here on this side. used to people care. grabbing the back of her head. <laughs> I don't mind. Just having fun. That's normal. Life's you short. Like anyway. No. Subscribe, Life's guys. too short. You, you guys who are um, scared to subscribe, I don't sweat you to do it. But I'm saying, yeah, man, let's really get even more subscribers in the Yay, game because yes. I see everybody want to 
run my show one way or another, but I'm saying, look, just subscribe, dog. Press the like button. Hmm. Help the show out. The show needs the help of all the people who watch it. So mm-hmm. that's what's up. Anybody yeah. want to plug anything? Yeah, you already know. Uh, tomorrow, come on mainstream. M a n e s t r e a m mainstream. <clears throat> and uh, come holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Six o'clock. Me. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I didn't. Six o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Pacific. You know what I mean? Eight Central. Thanks, Daniela Grant. Come on through. You know what I'm saying? I might come yeah. through. I'm going to try and come through next week, Marcus. I wish I could. You'll come next week? I would love to. You, you got to let me know. 6 o'clock now. Pacific, 8 Central. Yeah. Yeah. You will come next week? What about Atlanta? Okay. So, yeah. D going to come next week, y'all. I would love we, that. We holding you to that. Dude. Okay. D mm-hmm. you really going to go on the show? Why not? He's asked me, and it, he's asked me. So, I was like, you know what? So, not this week, next week. Well, tomorrow's too soon. Like, a lot of times I got to move stuff around. Yeah. You got to get your knees massaged. <laughs> <laughs> I just got oh, my oh, head with y'all. Oh, oh, the Chicago show. Uh, Thank you, Elmo. That's sweet. That? Yeah. Chicago show got pushed back, y'all. Um, I'll repost the date. Oh, my. Stupid. Man. On my. Uh, uh, yeah, you can take it down. I'll repush, uh, repost the date, man. They, uh, Hollywood bought my. Uh, Hollywood Laugh Factory bought out my date for somebody else. I seen who it was. Uh-oh. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. They, GJM say he'll pledge $100 if Marcus take that head off. Pledge it to my cash app. Pledge it to my cash app. Why is it a little boy in there? GJ. That might be his son. Oh my goodness. That's like a. Oh, that's that little uh, gay boy on Chucky. (laughs) What? Yeah. (laughs) See what happens when you put your kids out there. Oh (laughs) my God. At least he didn't abort it, though. (laughs) This is stupid. All right, so we about to wrap it up, man. Uh, Corey trying to plug and Marcus and D talking about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> y'all saw that shit, but it ain't that. Mm, no, listen, look, y'all, mm. y'all heard me subscribe to the show, all that. We gonna wrap this show up this week. I don't know what I'm forgetting, but dead ass. Mm. I'll probably be in Vegas this week. I Life's need a, too short, you I should. I need to just be in a room kicking it type situation. Did you go out last week? Yeah. I just got back from Orlando. Had no, a ball. Did you go out while you was out now? What do you mean go out? Did you go out to like any events? I don't. Do, what do you? Oh, uh, it sounds like you said that on on the video, the promo video. What promo video? You, you and you and uh uh Just Nisha and and Smackwater and uh and uh Goose was in the video they, in Orlando. Yeah, it sounds like you said you uh, was going out. Yeah. So you didn't. <laughs> So you didn't go up. I don't never go nowhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I can't go nowhere. If I go somewhere, motherfuckers think I got 20 minutes for them. Oh, okay. Corey, let me tell you something, boy. Man, I'm in the first <laughs> time. I was like, oh, shit, here we go. I just, this just happened five minutes ago, sir. <laughs> anyway, now I got love for all the fans. Uh, Corey conked his hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Yep, I'm gonna have it done real sexy next time y'all see the show. When you got hair, you can wear different styles. Did you know that? I do. You ain't gotta put on no over the top truck driver hat. Oh, you never knew. Dee was wearing her hat when her hair was gone, but now nah, enough of it done crawled all back the over the Yeah, they're like a couple that's, little. That's I, that's I crazy. Still all the choices watch. you had. You just you wait, till, on it. wait till wait till winter. Mm-mm-mm. It's gonna be back. Who's singing in a hairstyle like this besides Eddie K. G? Oh, uh, other crackhead. Oh, 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 the OJs. The OJs. The OJs? Right, yeah, the OJs. Right. A couple of them have it. Let me! Yup, there it is. Mm-hmm. Well, that sound like yeah. Jeremiah there? Mm-hmm. They call you Sam Cook. Oh, <laughs> Sam Cook. Somebody say I look like Django. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should have wore a cowboy hat tonight. I'm so evil with the thoughts I be thinking I had to catch. Pastor Eddie Long Holcomb. That's you do Pastor that. Eddie Long Holcomb. McCoy, you do kind of look like Thanos, though, in the face. Thanos? Yeah, you like Thanos in the face. Oh, my God. <laughs> my chin ain't that big. Big old. You see. Who played that? Is that Ron Perlman who played him? Chris Lewis, shout out from Orlando. What happened? Is that, that's Ron Perlman who played him? The one who played Hell Boy? Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. No, no. He not? Cause, Cause that's the one who played on uh, what the buy the, the motorcycle gang uh show. Exactly, Kamani. Yeah, Something boys, coming. biker boys, huh? 
Oh, it's not Ron Perlman? Corey looks like one of the bar caves. Who is that? Mm -hmm. People, Bryson, Alexander O'Neill, yeah. Oh, Alexander. You need an all true man. <laughs> Alexander O'Neill was a bad motherfucker. They sleep on him. Oh, hell yeah. Remember he had that song, Fake Out? He was ahead of the times. You a fake, baby. baby. They say no right season. They say like season. You a boy that your child. For no goddamn reason, you a fake, baby. Oh, yeah, it was Sons of Anthony. Corey starred in Roots. Fuck y'all, yeah, nigga. <laughs> anyway, once again. Kunta Kinte. Mm -hmm. I saw that motherfucker talk the other day, boy. Once you get a certain age, you don't give a fuck, though. His, his shit pushed in this just came out. Lamar, LeVar Burton. Aww. That motherfucker was like. <laughs> Who is LeVar Burton? I love Burton? LeVar Burton, yes. It's before your time, mean. Marcus. It's a movie called Roots. It was a whole bunch of people who, you would've got casted back then. <laughs> They would have had you out there running, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Like, you got to take the hair off for the role. Let me cut, take the hat off for the role. Yeah, if, Roots was, if you was born when Roots was out, you'd have been in that movie. Cool, you look like you would have played uh, uh, one, one, one doing the handball. What's the one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Can't not with you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. You would have been at the juke joint. Dude. Abe always asked me, what's the name of this show? Joint. Brian, Freddie Jackson. What's the name of this right. show? 5150 chat rooms before we go. What show? Somebody. Wanna give him a title? I let, I let my people name the show. What's the name of this show? Uh, we this gonna one? look for a good title. What does people say? <laughs> they ain't got on yet. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta give him time. Yes, he does the Reading Rainbow. Oh. Um, Reading LeVar Rainbow, Burton. what is that? LeVar anyway, Burton. if y'all was gonna name this show, what would y'all name this show? What's the name of tonight's show? Uh, blessings to all family. <laughs> and the core pentagram. <laughs> Corey Freeman. Fuck yeah. <laughs> they used to call me Crazy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he did have like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got no good one. I guess we'll make one. <coughs> uh, baby eaters. Uh oh, it's coming now. Oh, shoot. Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Baby killer show. <laughs> Grease forehead. Castration's coming. A pimp named Slickback. New repo. Abort J-Lo. How about that? Bubonic aborted show. Abortions and burritos. Ooh. Back shots. <laughs> Fuck mm. you. I ain't got no hot breath all the time. Oh, all the time. <laughs> Yankee abortion. Yeah. Something about J-Lo. Uh, hey, Amen. I think I had a good one. Abort J-Lo. He cries over murder. <laughs> Cooking with slick back. Fuck y'all. Y'all ain't got no shit. We gonna call yeah. this show. Mm -mm. We gonna call this show info about abortions, J Lo, and the BET Awards. 2022 BET Awards. Info mm. about wait, which one we started out with. We started out with what? BET. Did you? Info on BET Award Court. Men twerking. Men twerking. 5150's take on. <laughs> BET Awards, J-Lo. And abortion. And Baby Merkin. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you can say abortions. Anyway. Mm. One more motherfucking time, Roe versus D-Wade, ew. Roe versus D-Wade. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's the right That's to wear so a dress in public. So dumb. That was, that was silly. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Ho versus Oka. Abortion is anonymous. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, y'all motherfuckers, man, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. Even if you don't submit, keep watching the show, man. Mm -hmm. We sure do appreciate y'all, man. Next week, we gonna come back with even more bullshit in the game. This is the 5150 show. One love, motherfucker. Enjoy so, life every day. 5150. short. To all them kids that didn't make it, Keep your head up, ooh, child. Things are Things. gonna get, oh, don't sing everything because we'll have to pay. Huh?